All right, stream should be live on both. Whichever one you you watch on, you can lurk on the other. But there's also another big brain play you can do by having both of the streams going, and that is you can dodge ads. So if you are uh, watching on Twitch and you get an ad from Twitch, like you're not subbed, you get an ad. You can just switch to the YouTube tab, and then when you get a ad on YouTube, you just switch over to the Twitch tab. So anyway, it helps me out. And if you want to do that or lurk uh, on both, that is awesome. But we are back to our 500% no pause, ours difficulty, etc., etc. Rimworld, Sanguifage, Vampire. I love ads. Run. That's true. Yeah. Uh, lady of the Hall, seven months. Thank you, lady. Very much appreciated. Shabby, welcome in. Swag. Quasar, Gribbly. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, let me make sure I have the naming queue up and all that. Thank you again, Lady of the Hall and Minoc. Looks like we're good. I got to remember to record this too, because yes, yes, this will be edited. I know a lot of people have been asking. Bunker, thank you for the bronze channel membership. Tachi, welcome in. Kristoff, welcome back. Thank you, Kristoff. Uh, let's see here. There we go. All right, let me set up the recording, and we are good to get going. Matrix dodging ads, that's right. You run on 100% difficulty, lots of pausing next. Absolutely not. I would not I would not even play the game. I asked you the other day in the YouTube chat, they were like, Adam, why do you always do the no pause challenge in addition to everything else you're doing on it? Why do you do that? Like, because that's the only way I like playing the game. So even when I'm not allowed to use the pause or the no pause mod, like on Rimmanship, I never pause because that's just my preferred way to play. All right, recording has begun. I'm going to need to uh, split the recording every now and then for the editor. Uh, touch in with them today and see how close they are to uh, being caught up. Half speed, does that get rid of the 4x? I'm not sure. I've never used the half speed. Uh, Sarah, welcome back. Welcome back. Haven't changed your name yet, I see. Uh, it's all good to be. I don't, I don't mind. So, anyway, welcome back. Viper, the good Viper. Welcome in, Viper. All right. I don't remember what we were doing. Let's get in there and see. Anita, welcome back as well. Thank you, Anita. It's hard to watch people that pause a lot so slow. Thanks for that. Yeah, yeah. That's what happened to me. I got... I got it ruined for me, so. Warren is back. Warren comes back and streams for a little bit pretty often, but uh, I did see that he was on the other night, but is he going to routinely stream again? I don't know. I haven't been on his uh, Discord in a little bit. But I did Ant. Sam. Dipsy. Welcome back. Cecil. Mary Barry Quinn. Marriage is on. Versus girl is proposed to Raynor. Okay. So I am on my way home from trading. I don't remember what we went out looking for. Apparently, I didn't trade a bunch of this crap off while I was gone, though. So let's stop at the pigs on the way home. Uh, what, what did I even get? I think I was out looking for stuff and they didn't have stuff. That's what I remember. It's been a week since we played. Glad you're back. Feeling good? Um, uh, yeah, I'm all right. I'm feeling better than yesterday for sure. Pausing a lot is when the streamer has to leave the game, choose the restroom or something similar. Nah, I don't even do it then. Is he getting rid of wealth? No, I, I, was, I was doing something. I was doing something. All right, let's take a gander at the base here. How long has it been since Cassandra has been hitting? So Cassandra could hit us again for sure. One of the things I do remember is that we want to gather in all of these um, uh, mortars, or at least some of them. And then we also finally got some boss mechs so we can use the atomizer. Atomizer. You changed it. There we go. Now I gotta remember not to call you Sarah when I see your your picture over there. So I'm not even gonna say the new name because I don't want to partially dox you. So I'll wait. I'll wait. I got food poisoning. Empire should be, a, I was about to say allergic. The atomizer 5000. Uh, we, oh, that's right. We were making jeans for the prisoners. That's what you were looking for. We were looking for dead calm. All coming back to me now. Dead calm. So what did we have up here? Or when did, when did they reset? Oh, obviously, I was just there 30 days. What about the ones down here? 11 days. All right. That's what we were doing. We we're looking for dead calm. You can't hear atomizer. You always hear it with the D. Atomizer. Atomizer. The atomizer. I don't know. What, what would the atomizer be? I, I hate to ask that question because I know people are immediately going to be like, it's going to be some kind of RimWorld torture device. Like, uh, you know the Brain Ripper? Well, instead, this rips out all your organs, but it keeps you alive. And it harvests your human meat, and then it lets it grow back, and then you harvest it again. That way you can get more human meat from the same person. That would be an atomizer. Uh, anyway, we got some death rest going on. And where are those, uh, those mortars? <laughs> Just right back into normal conversation after that. 
it gets rid of everything oh uh i know there's mortars out here there's a mortar wasn't there nine mortars there's there's two there there's there's, there's five there there's five there okay so we gotta move those uh down here we need to start working on oh do we want retaliation raids again i'm not sure got a lot of stuff to work on got a lot of stuff to work on i need to get back though we're also uh oh we're giving lungs to all of the brawls that's right so we're dotting our t's and crossing our eyes that's not how it goes dotting our t's and crossing our eyes all right so operation detoxifier left lung detoxifier right lung go ahead and get in there first time on the stream going zero your Eng oh yeah your your english is way better than my portuguese you know because i know nothing so yeah no uh no no apologies needed thank you for watching it's always interesting to me and i don't mean it in a negative way towards anyone that does it it's always interesting to me when someone comes in and they talk in perfectly understandable conversational english to me and they're like so sorry english isn't my native language and i'm like no 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 <laughs> good you are good hey any of you guys got that dead calm gene who has dead calm genies right yeah we wait did we end up rip we have genies that we are trying to get that from well anyway let's go shopping for genies. hey look, look it's a little wookie boy sorry we were full up on wookie boys the daycare is closed yeah that's what we were doing uh this is one of the problems of not playing in a week i can't remember if we ended up getting that gene or not i know we, that we were trying to get the gene but we pulled out wimpy that's what it was and there's genie boy New Genie Boy. Four days. All right. Four days. Okay. Feeling better. I am feeling a little bit better. Yeah. I am. I am. Rocket Swarm Launcher loaded with an anti crane gun. Let's go in Toll House. Board Ariana. Welcome back. Going Ariana. Shot. Welcome in. Hard to type in English while keeping the pinky in the air. <laughs> We're full up on Wookiee Boys. That's right. API. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I've started the process of changing the bot over to the. Cloud bot, but it's going to cause some other problems. Peanut, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you, Peanut. How strong are single phase tribes in late game? Single phase is just really good for a lot of reasons. As long as you can deal with death rest and their blood need, they're just really strong, right? So they're, they're going to be harder to kill. The only way they can actually die is their brain is destroyed. That's the only way. And so you get them a cataphract helmet, so they're very unlikely to get one shot. They're also robust. Their skills, like the the ability to staunch the flow of blood on anyone with with coagulate, is also incredibly strong. So yeah, single phase are just all in all just really strong characters, with the downside of needing blood and death rest. So I think having some single phase in a normal run, like you're talking about, like if you have a tribal run, you have a single phase, then that character can absolutely be someone that's uh, you know melee blocking, holding the front line wearing a shield belt and going out and, and taking shots for the team uh patching people up with with their skills like they're just all around really really strong coagulate is so yeah coagulate is crazy we had we had someone that was melee blocking and got a bunch of damage and then we coagulate them and it was like 59 wounds tended it's like holy crap yeah there are two genies in the prison but they're uh we have to wait one of them is five days out one of them is nine days out or this map with a lot of fire. Yeah, but that's not a huge deal if you're not going all single phase. Like it, I think it's very strong. And just like it's very, very strong if you're doing a standard playthrough, not themed or anything, to have one Mechanator, right? You don't have to theme everything around Mechanator or theme everything around single phase like we've been doing. But just like one Mechanator is incredibly strong, even just for all the worker bots. And one, one or two single phase are extremely strong, even for just coagulate to save people. General Admiral. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the two months. I laugh at the name because it's just like like someone that's making up ranks, you know. Yeah. You were in the you were in the Space Guard? What rank were you? I was a general admiral of the Space Guard. General gen, general admiral. Yep. What it said. I need to get back, man. I have food poisoning and I'm low on it. Low on blood. Low on blood. 
Masterwork cloth pants. All right. Where you go, Kijimbo? That those lungs installed. And I, I haven't even made it to the pigs yet. Tried a single, do a single vampire. Love them a little too much and made them turn like 60% of the colony. Yeah, yeah, they're really good. Like as long as you can deal with their death rest, like having them not be in death rest. Man, we, we ran into some problems with that in this game, actually. Having them um, only death rest when you're basically safe to do so, right? Yourself in made up military ranks, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you like salute incorrectly as well. Like, use your left hand at like your mouth or something. Vampire suffering from food poisoning. Wouldn't that just be blood poisoning? You would think so. Well, the thing is, um, I know, I know we're just joking about it, but someone was saying the other day, they're like, why, why do they put vampires? It's not even really vampires. That's why it's called sanguophage. It's all genes. It's just genes. So it's thematically basically a vampire. Right, but it's just genes. So they actually eat normal food and everything still. A little disappointing, I know. Can you use an unroofed door tile in the cold? Where it's the giant. Uh... uh oh, oh I I understand. Yeah, yeah, depending on your map, yeah. And even with with this cooler setup where it empties into a door. Depending on your map, it might be more efficient to either have this door unroofed or even held open. So yeah, that can work depending on your map. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Basically just waiting on him to get back and waiting on these genie things. Um, genie things. Right, so the atomizer. Um, I wanted to use a setup from our Discord. I don't think I have it saved anymore, though. So we'll just wing it. We'll just wing it. But... Um, yeah, there is a specific setup, a 13 by 13 setup that gives you like 16,000 excess power or something crazy. Um, but yeah, I, I forgot to I forgot to look at it for the stream, so we'll just wing it. Uh, so we've already been here, but we're mainly wanting to get rid of a bunch of this crap while we're out anyway. So hang on, are, are we... We're at a plus 43 with the pigs, so maybe I just gift them some of this stuff. So if I can call them in to take some rockets for us, then, you know, awesome. Awesome. Oh, right. We bought Never Sleep while I was out, too. But we didn't find Dead Calm. Hopefully, we get Dead Calm from the genies that we got in prison. We got two genies in prison right now. We got one that is ready to have their genes extracted in about five days. And another one in about ten-ish days. So... Hopefully we'll get some stuff out of that. Some good stuff out of that. Well, dead calm is what we want. Specifically. Alright, that's good. Let's come on home. Been a hospital for a while. Incognito. Hopefully you're alright. They didn't have phone signal in your ward. Man, incognito. I'm glad you're back. Um, I won't ask you what was wrong unless you want to talk about it. That's fine. But yeah, hopefully you're doing alright. Save the resub. 13 months. Had two people come in to the bar last night wearing Dragon Ball Z shirts. I wore mine yesterday as well. Yeah. Sad. I really didn't see the creator of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z passed away. And they were 68. Their birthday would have been in April. I didn't realize his birthday was like right around my birthday. Um, yeah, I have a lot of fond memories about it. So, about Dragon Ball Z. I had a really rough... I want to go over it, but I had a really rough childhood. I had a lot of crazy stuff in my, in my life when I was a kid. Like really rough stuff. And one of my nostalgic memories, though, is getting in, in elementary school, getting off the bus at my grandmother's house and rushing in and hurrying up and doing my homework so that I could watch Dragon Ball Z at 5 p.m. on Toonami. Cardinal Network's Toonami. And, man, it, it was... We were waiting on the... I guess they were waiting on the the manga to, to be written and then it to be made into a Japanese show and then it to be, you know, dubbed for English. And so there was a lot of side stuff in Dragon Ball Z initially that weren't, weren't in the mangas. And then also we had to wait forever, man, for sagas to end. I It was really frustrating how many times we would go back to Raditz. Like you would go all the way, like halfway, not even all the way, halfway through the Frieza saga. And then 
it would be you know you'd have the, the guy at the end is like on the next exciting episode of dragon ball z and then the next day i come home from school it comes on at 5 p.m and we're back to the friggin farmer in his truck and raditz is about to land and it's like oh my god not this again and we knew we had like three more months until we got caught back up to the middle of the frieza saga and then it would do it again i i think it took literal multiple years of my childhood to see the end of the frieza saga and then it did the same thing like at the beginning of the cell saga <laughs> it's like oh my god so they were um yeah they were trying to get through the cell saga for like my entire childhood so really crazy malnutrition extreme hey what's going on here what are our doctors doing Hey, Jimbo, do you just have too much to do? Jimbo, is that what's going on? Wait, what? Why are you get... He's grabbing paste meals from here to feed to the prisoners when there's paste right here? It was epic. Yeah, I got a lot of uh, a lot of good memories of that when I was a kid. Your brother was big time into Dragon Ball Z and another show called Gundam. Oh, uh, yes, Gundam Wing. That was there in the same time, yeah. That was the only Gundam show I ever watched. And I did like that one overall as well. I'm not a huge fan of big mechs for some reason anyway. Lynn nine colonists for 11 days. No, I don't think I will. Super calling is good though. Mm -hmm. I'm staring away for battle, yeah. Some episodes are 40 recap, 40% screaming, 20%. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I really, uh, there wasn't, there wasn't much else. You know another show that was on Toonami that I don't hear anyone talk about very much is Reboot. Do you guys remember Reboot? Reboot was like, I remember when Reboot came out and I was like, whoa, look at these graphics. <laughs> like, wow, this is next level. You loved Reboot? Reboot was amazing. You watched through it again last year. Yeah, Reboot was, uh, was a trip. Got really good towards the end. Yeah. Yeah, early on, uh, early Toonami, I know it's one of those, like, nostalgia things for sure. But uh, I can admit it. Like, early Toonami was was fantastic. Fantastic. Excuse me. Can, can you guys... Why are you going up there? I don't understand. There's... It's right here. What if I lock you in here? Will you feed them from here? Yeah, what the crap? That's really odd. So now he's feeding them all. Remember Gundam Fondly? The one Gundam Seed? Yeah, I remember actually saving up some money. Literally, literally going and finding cans to... Jimbo, get in here. To turn into the recycling to... Wait, did you get fed? get money for one of those uh gundam wing three the models um like uh, like eight inch models or whatever they're like model cars they're gundams yeah i remember doing that is there anything better there's rice here there too yeah there's rice there as well i'm not sure very weird oh there's a new chat format on youtube mine hasn't updated yeah are you uh on desktop or mobile i'm on desktop but mine looks the same you still have several Gundam Wing models. Same thing. Love DBZ, Gundam Wing, Reboot. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, there was, there's quite a lot of stuff on and off Toonami around that time after school that was that I really enjoyed watching. Like, I remember the the new adventures of Johnny Quest. I remember watching that quite a bit. I, I used to always say, like, when someone said something about it being written or something like that, it was always, so it is written in the Book of Rage. <laughs> Good character. Character. Hey, get over here. Oh my god, that is a lot. Holy crap. That is a lot. <sighs> Christ's sake. Well, we lost all the turrets, and we're going to lose that stuff, too. Hope and we might end up losing all the scanners again. I'm going to say Johnny Quest. Yeah, I really liked the 
new adventures with Johnny Quest. Uh, Daggett, thank you for the, thank you for the raid. Thank you, Dag. Much appreciated. We are in the middle of a waste pack infestation. But those of you coming in, welcome, welcome back. I'm Adam. It's Adam versus everything. We are playing uh, late game Sanguifage themed run. So, vampires. Vampires. Oh, uh, yeah, they've destroyed quite a bit. Well, that sucks. We're gonna have to rebuild another one of these. This is like, we, we gotta start using that atomizer, getting rid of this crap. Got the war cries and horror of being slave. Oh, you were also playing API error. Yeah, it's my favorite game, API error. I uh, I usually make a lot of quotes while I'm playing API error. Graphics on that repic as well, yeah. Uh, can I use a schedule for single? Uh, I'm just using the same thing. So I have a scheduling guide. If you go on YouTube and you type in a uh, RimWorld schedule guide, you'll find it. But I'm just using a, a basic schedule on them. And if they don't need to sleep this much because of low sleep, they just won't. You can also just use an all everything. Uh, that all that works pretty well. All anything for single phage or quick sleepers works just fine. But if you want to check out more details about that kind of stuff, it is in my, my schedule guide. You just search on YouTube RimWorld schedule guide and you'll find it right away. What were you playing, Dag? Yeah, that's a good question. You're also playing RimWorld? Makes sense, makes sense. A little dirty out there. All right, I have made it back. That's a lot of donkeys I am pulling along. A lot of donkeys. Oh, do we need to do a raid again soon? Supreme expectations. Supreme victory. Ate raw food. Recreation deprived. Yeah, you're home now. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Yeah, for single phage or any anything that has a very low sleep, you can just literally set it to all anything, and it's pretty decent. If you need extra mood, you can use my biphasic schedule. But, uh... In what? Oh no, the donkeys are gonna run away. EQ fan, can you go grab the donkeys where they get... And they all got diseases. All right, cool. Oh, there's... Man, that was a lot of hives, actually. I didn't even see those extra hives. Let's go take care of those really quick. Crazy. Crazy. Working your way through 5% difficulty? Nice. So how far in are you? Donkeys, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Someone said if you can get enough firepower to pop these in one volley that the other ones don't open and I had never tried it but here we go Interesting Interesting I think it was last stream someone mentioned that Alright uh, I don't have any commands like that Yeah I don't use Twitch Toolkit so maybe you're thinking somewhere else so far, I guess, so f good crafter. Bolts headed towards assault rifles. Nice. Yeah, that's a lot of progress. A lot of progress. You were hoping? No. Yeah. I used it one time as a charity thing, but yeah, otherwise it would just be, it would just ruin the themed and challenge runs that I do. So uh, to give you an idea how Twitch Toolkit is in a stream where there was a, th oh, a thousand people, is I literally couldn't do anything the whole run. People found out that the most disruptive item was horseshoe pins, and literally just constantly thousands of horseshoe pins were dumped on the base. Couldn't do anything. Uh, every every door was held open. I could not haul them fast enough. We couldn't even put things down in storage. People were, were moving, moving to put things down, and we just got overwhelmed and, and killed. So... Well, Switch Toolkit, it's something that allows chat to use uh, basically channel point type system in order to purchase things in the game. So, like like I said, it was a one-off thing for a charity thing, just for fun. And we'll probably do more one-off of those for charity. But yeah, there's I'm not going to have that in my, my typical runs. It would just be pointless. Yeah. E even if I put, like, price on everything super high or something, it would just be pointless. It would either make the run 
too easy or too hard. And like I said, it would. I'm just uh, not a not a huge fan as a viewer either. Like I don't I don't watch the streams of it because it just doesn't interest me. If you like it, that's fine. You know, everyone likes different things, but you're not gonna you're not gonna find that kind of stuff here really. Throwing hoop stones, yeah. You manage to locate in a specific area the infestation and in pod raids. Do you mean like can you can you make them spawn in certain spots? Uh, if so, then then yes, aside, there, with some exception, but it's never a hundred percent. The horseshoe pin thing was crazy. Yeah, chat will always find a way, yeah, no matter what we said. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, if if you like that sort of thing, no no worries, but. Is the max hive infestation now 40? No, it's 20. It changed in 1.4. Twitch toolkit stops working maybe at like 75 to 100 viewers. Yeah, it was really crazy with a thousand people. World streamer with fertilized chicken eggs causes game to crash. <laughs> yeah, so in 1.4, they nerfed infestation. So normal infestations are max 20 hives. Now at, at max raid points without a randy roll or a quest. Yeah, that's why they're not as scary anymore. But if, if the question ends up being, can you deter, can you make them spawn where you want? There's a couple things you can do in a normal run. Like if you're on a more flat map or whatever, then you can just have the only place that's overhead mountain. Um, you know, just have one place that's overhead mountain and then have a player made structure. Or typically a room with a door doesn't have to have anything in it. That's nearby or connected to it. And the bugs will always spawn there because there's no other overhead mountain for them to spawn in. Now, waste pack infestation. I have no idea why they did this, and it very well might be something that they patch out eventually and be like, oh, we didn't realize, just like they did with uh, center drop uh, breachers, for instance, that were in the game for months. You can get a waste pack infestation, a pollution infestation, at center of your map with no pollution and no waste packs. It's pretty rare, but it happens, and we've had it happen a couple times in this run already. And our longer runs, we usually have it happen a couple times, and it, it is kind of frustrating because you, if you avoid pollution and waste packs, you shouldn't get negative events from pollution and waste packs on your map, right? But anyway, can't can't stop that one. The other ones you can you can kind of determine where they go. Seven days on that one. This one's two days. All right. Still getting this crap cleaned up. Uh, we need. We're already making kin fuel. Okay. So we need to start making shells also. Let's go ahead and do make high explosive shell, do until we have X, drop on the ground. We're going to do 20 of those, and then we're going to make EMP shell, do until we have X. Let's go 10 on that. It's fine. And these are the most important things. Okay, we'll get those done. Yeah, it did. Uh... Aries, you've already, be... already been fed. Second. Yeah, but the donkey meals got destroyed. We got to reset this up. I get this cleared out too. Where's drug free slave? Drug free slave. Uh, what skin gland is more efficient when you usually prefer? Can't find a proper guide on it. Uh, I mean, I generally don't worry about him because once you get to like that point of the game, that extra few percent, you know, typically doesn't matter. But if you are going to get like super min max and go that route, as long as you don't mind the downsides, I mean, you can just throw a stone gland in and be fine. You can offset uh, beauty. At that point in the game, you can also offset beauty and like speed and things. So you could just use stone skin gland if you just want that extra few percent. Make sure all the donkeys are ripped up. 
This is considered a pin at the moment. Our entire base is considered a pin at the moment until this gets shut. So that's why I'm having him cut up the bugs. <laughs> yeah, how, how armor works is a really weird thing. So it's pretty complex, but the game goes over it. So if you go into any armor, uh, it will tell you how the formula works on the right side. And so it's like it's, the damage type it is rolls against the armor type it is. And then if it rolls over it, it rolls into the next armor. It, it's a kind of convoluted system, which basically equates to more armor of any type equals more better. <laughs> so if you really want the everything, you can go in here and just look at it in the game. Just hover over armor stats and any any clothing. Yeah, that's what I was saying. As long as you can overcome movement and beauty, then it's it's kind of the same concept as Cataphract, right? Cataphract, which we're wearing, wearing, slows you down quite a bit, but we all have bionic legs, so it's like definitely worth it for us. Essentially, in base room world, it's better to have multiple layers. Yeah, multiple layers, and then also just the higher number, the better. Are the way around. I think it's actually better to have a layer with... You'll notice that that's how a pawn... So, pawns will auto-equip stuff based on defense and then on temperature. So, you'll notice that they will put things on, like, cataphract armor instead of, like, legendary layers of stuff, right? So, uh, yeah, so typically it's just better to have the, the big big numbers more armor equals more better that's all you really gotta know i mean if you want the super specifics like i said the formula and everything is in the game there or you can always check the wiki and you just give your slaves weapons are you play here so we're playing in a way that our slaves have to have below five mood if our slaves don't have below five mood then they can have revolts, but if they're under five mood because terror slavery, they won't. And we have them weapons because our ideology hates ranged weapons and that makes them more unhappy. No, this is a, uh, I usually don't use mods, but this is a modded slave meme for the themed run. It, in general, if you are, if you're playing RimWorld unmodded and you are min-maxing, there is, there's basically no reason to have slaves, unfortunately. The benefits of slaves are they're like 70% raid points now, which is whatever. And they have higher mood baseline. The downside is they can rise up against you, right? So I just I just rather have a colonist in my normal playthroughs. Oh, uh, we were low on plasteel. That's right. That's right. Let me tell you a friggin' spray ball out of here. Where's the slaves even then it's just extra hassle yeah i just rather not not have them at all the crap there's a there was another hive in here <laughs> christ oh my god i can't hit the right button today i hit the right button i don't know how to play <laughs> almost bled uh, almost fed on them. I think the last little bit of their, their blood. No, no matter what, you, you will always have the chance at a rebellion, unfortunately. Like, even if you have the body strap, even even if you have a legendary strap, you have to wait for a long enough gap there on the slave and a slave collar and the terror sculptures and you have them maxed out. Uh, if you hover over their rebellion thing... It's going to say, like, the um, the average breakout is like 900 days or something, but it's a lie. It's a lie. And if e even a single one of the, s the slaves end up getting to the point where they can have one, they can they can bring others with them. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's not great. Like, from a min-max standpoint, it's not great. All right. More lungs. Solid, left. Solid, solid, right. 
But if you want to play with more precepts that makes the slavery stuff uh, and change it in a lot of different ways, then that more slavery stuff mod, which we're using just for this playthrough, is the way to go, I think. So you can make it so... I think the other side of it would, would have been easier. You can make it so that if slaves are happy, they never have a breakdown. They never have a rebellion. Pretty handy. So is that the only plastic we have right there? There's some. It's not super... Oh, right. Right, right, right. Down here. All right. We're going to move these down. Yeah, for unwavering, I typically in a, in a normal game, I just kill them or I just send them back. It worked in some way. There's a mod for that. Yeah. The the only thing that they've reworked, not not talking about mods, of course, is it made them 70% raid points. New slaves under fishing. Bring out changes in around work. Hit chances in XCOM, yeah. <laughs> It says none. Oh crap, I got blown open. Uh, drug free slave. All right, butcher that. We gotta get this done before, whoops. Why was it set to wood? are getting the deep drill overlay most shows material yeah i don't i i know of it i don't really care for it <laughs> i know i know it's a nice quality of life thing but personal preference i actually usually don't use color-coded mood bars either i just use that cause of the having to keep slaves unhappy this time all right there those are shut Okay, uh, we gotta get this done. Donker's getting put back. Way easier to recruit slaves than they are extendable. Yeah, like I said, from a min-max standpoint. Like, you're just better off not doing it from a min-max standpoint. If you want to do it, you know, if you're not, if you're not min-maxing, if you're not playing on 500% or whatever, but if you are having a colonist that adds to your raid points on 500%, a colonist that's adding to your raid points, and they can't reliably help you fight the extra raid points and they're probably not worth it, right? So again, from a mid-max hardest difficulty point of view, which the game is not balanced around, I understand, but from my normal gameplay, that's what I usually do. They're just not, not worth it because of those reasons. Because you can't rely on them to defend the wealth or the raid points that they're adding because they could turn on you during the raid or... You know, especially you're giving them weapons in a role playthrough, which is going to make it even more likely. You're just generally better off having um, have other colonists. And, and if you're like, well, have a few to do cleaning and hauling well, and don't let them fight. Well, you can just do the same thing with a colonist. You just have another colonist that can clean and haul, but they can fight when you need to. Or you can have clean sweeps that aren't going to rise up against you with one mechanator, you know. So from a min-max standpoint which is fine. The game isn't balanced around that. They're just not really worth it. Going a big welcome in. Rook, welcome in. York, 23 months. Thank you, York. That's a long time. A long time, 23 months. Almost two full calendar years. But, yeah. Which is fine. Like I said, it's fine. Doesn't, uh, doesn't bother me that it's that way or anything like that. It doesn't all need to be when they, when the developers are balancing the game, they typically balance it around like the hundred percent difficulty line and more again, more around like the storytelling aspect than it being like a challenge game, right? So, makes sense that it's not super developed for that sort of play style. Explosive colors, gun. <laughs> there we go. The meals are coming in. That's a lot of donkeys. I think I was actually gonna trade off some of the donkeys. Feel like, feel like I was going to do that. Did you, we look at some of the skills of your longest standing colonist. Interested to see how far along they are? Sure. Here's the starting colonist. So 20 melee and 20 intellect. 15 social. Kind of crazy. 
other woman it's looking about the same melee social intellect not, not quite as high let's look at kid jimbo the original the original kid yeah it's it's pretty much the same story across the board a lot of it's because of our genes right because we have slaves doing a lot of the, the work so the work that slaves can't do or don't do we are much higher in and you can definitely see that each of our sanguifage though like as you get further along each of them is more like specialized for for a task for the most part like just in here construction plants or as you go to this person crafting crafting that's it <laughs> so yeah just pretty specialized at this stage but our, our our early ones are pretty indicative of our genes they're just good at whatever the the genes that we have are and that's about it so kid has come so far yeah yeah Yeah, I really like the baby thrumbo. It's always the one I... You don't get to see them very often. Uh, our people need a lot of go juice. So, man, we got a lot of stuff to do. We always have a lot to do. Um, all right, that's getting mined. I need to bring these mortars in. Let's have... None of the slaves are on construction. Well, I mean, these can do it, right? Any of them can do it. All right, that's fine. So Flanders, go ahead and come up here. We'll go ahead and unrestrict you. Claim, reinstall. Um, let's just put them out here. I know they're in risk of getting eaten by drop. Man, we've had so many drop pod raids there. But, oh well. And infestations. So Flanders, grab this. So that's college the cool addition. <laughs> is a thing already. I wonder if there's a mod for that. Generally, there's a mod for everything, right? But I wonder if there is one for that. Need recre recreation variety. Uh, rights, rights. Hmm. Think I care about people watching TV in the throne room? Nah, it's all right. There you go. I mean, you know what? I can watch it from the throne. People can sit around and watch it with me. It's not centered. We're gonna need another throne in here at some point too. Uh, all right. We'll just put it over here. We can we can make a better place at some point. Do we have? quite a bit of human leather that is quite a bit of human leather where we get all that i wonder i just i just gave a ton of human leather away as well 1800 or something uh, i need to leave that to melee block bugs obviously intent adjusted values the same modifier for calculating relative raid points for colonists like year old five i'm not sure yeah might be though Yeah, I'm not sure. That's a good question. Does population intent care about the same things that raid point I care about? So do you get less increased population intent for a child? I, or do they count as just one? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't looked at that. My gut tells me they count for one based on the events that happen even when we have children. But yeah, I don't know 100%. What would you say is your most educational one on YouTube? Hmm. Out of ones that are still pretty accurate, I would say the vanilla speed run. I do a lot of stuff in the vanilla speed run very efficiently. And that's a relatively recent one. And I go over what I'm doing. So the 5% the vanilla speed run is probably a pretty educational one. And it's an entire run in just like six hours. Aside from that... Trying to think of recent ones, right? So maybe the first no kill box. Bastion Skulls, the Zeus Hammer. He is, yeah. All right, so we got these moved down here. Let's get a 
Like wall between them. And then let's get shelf over here. We'll do high explosive. Yeah, I think if you're wanting a, a pretty recent run where I'm explaining what I'm doing and, and min-maxing quite a bit, probably that 500% vanilla speed run I did about a month ago. Some, something like that. Hey, Genie 1, you gotta be close to letting us get your genes, right? Let's check. Alright, seven hours. Seven hours we rip his genes again. Fashion statement. Come on, New Game Plus lets you set default ingredient search radius. Oh, that's pretty interesting. I might have to ask if they could add that to Remunship since it will help everyone's uh, lag in Remunership. Are mules better than horses? Donkeys? No, they're not better. Horses are better overall. How long is this run? Uh, we're almost on day 800 <laughs> in, ga in game days, obviously. It's a long run. Themed runs usually are. We're at 49 hours this run. 49 hours. Rob and found it after. Yeah, yeah. What else does it do, though? It would be nice if, if there was a mod that only does that. They'd be more likely to add that to Ruminship, I think. Wait, why are you happy? Oh, he's happy because he's got that really comfortable chair. That's right. Um, how did you eat at a, oh no, <laughs> no, 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 the thralls are sitting in that chair right there. They're sitting in it sideways eating at this table. That's what happened. Get out there. Get out and stand in the crap. What a disaster. How dare you? I don't have to get another freaking thrall. In English, thank you for the six months. Thank you, English. I may have missed the end of the run. No, the end of the run, unless unless something really bad happens today, we'll probably end up being able to do the ending tomorrow. We'll see, though. Hopefully tomorrow. I mean, we could keep putting it off and just preparing more and more, but... I'm not going to do that. Scorpy. Am I going to have to set this to not... You know what? Let's just go in... And let's turn you off from crafting until you're more unhappy. Okay? Thanks. Thanks. All right. We got two of the mortars. I want to get those two at some point as well. But let's go ahead and rip the genes out of Genie 1. Genie 1, Genie 1. Come on, dead calm. Sounds suspicious. People are happy. Yeah, because it, it has caused such a problem in this run. It's, it's crazy. All right, Genie One. They're all able to use the other chairs in front of the TV, or no? They're not. Uh, they can't recreate, and none of the other ones are touching the table. So, no more work until you hate yourself enough. Right. What do you think they're watching? You think it's just like really old reruns? Like they're watching I Love Lucy and Gilligan's Island or something? You on Gilligan's Isle. I haven't seen that in a long time. Yeah, I better not do that. I ended up chipping my tooth. I was like, I'm just going to open that with my bottom teeth. That'd be, that would suck. <laughs> well, the stream's done today because I need to go to the dentist now. I thought better of it. <laughs> as soon as I touched my bottom teeth, I was like, yeah, yeah. I can't make a boat, but I can make a radio from coconuts. That's right. That's what you always imagine too. It's like, like the the original Nick at Night stuff. I don't know if Nick at Night is still a thing. They're watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Millionaire and his wife. <laughs> Come on, Genie One. Hurry up and spit your genes out. Old episodes of Who's Line. Yeah, like the British one, but but Colin and Ryan are still there. Those those are always good. 
I didn't, nothing against, um, like the host doesn't really make that show, honestly. I did stop lagging as quite as much after uh, Aisha took over. Still watched occasionally though, or used to. Well, Genie One did not give us what we wanted. Who would still be broadcasting that? Yeah, I don't know. Four and a half days we can try again. The billionaire and his wife. That's right. The movie star, Professor and Marion. Always like that theory that uh, the castaways are the seven sins and Gilligan is Satan. <laughs> you guys read that fan theory? Should make that out of walls. You don't have to worry about these freaking rats any anymore. <sighs> Just a theory. That's right. Well, I've been telling you about it. That's literally what the theory is. It's that the castaways all represent a different deadly sin. Uh, what was the question? Tell yourself and destroy all your research benches, etc. before ship launch and wreck your base. Will it make raids easier? It will make the raids easier depending on how low you get your wealth. There is a minimum raid point for ship launch, but uh, it is it is pretty low. So if you watch some of the actual speed runs, like the kind of more, more boring ones where they play on um, just like losing is fun and, and travel to the ship and they try to launch the ship as fast as possible, as soon as they get to the ship, they just start beating it up. They just get its HP really low. And that's because, yes, it's going to lower wealth down to the minimum raid points for ship launch. So you can do that. For us, we're, we're of course, not going to do that. But if you are someone that's uh, trying to launch your first ship on those harder difficulties and you're you're doing everything um, within the game itself to make it easier for yourself, you can absolutely lower your raid points a lot. But just remember that as you are killing the raids and those bodies are falling down, they're dropping their weapons and stuff like that, that is going to inflate your wealth again. So you might end up still fighting bigger raids than what you might intend. So, you know, drop, drop your raid points down to where you're getting 50 tribals instead of 200. And then you get 250 person tribal raids, all of them fall over. Suddenly you have an additional, you know, tens of thousands of wealth and bigger raids again. So just be prepared for that sort of thing. Molotov, you have me quick on it, so. Uh, a granny summon. I just manhandled a moon dog for $35. I don't know what that means, granny. I don't want to know. Is that a pet bug? No, it's a dying bug. You know, was the devil? It would have been the professor. I guess the theory is that Gilligan was secretly like a, a demonic genius and he was doing all his stupid antics to screw everything up to keep them on the island in purgatory or something. Yeah. I don't know. Theories like that are always just fun to read. Are mech clusters random in terms of raid points and wealth? Uh, so how it works is there is a minimum amount of raid points that you need for a mech cluster, but it's pretty small. You could have really small mech clusters. You can have mech clusters that are literally like just two turrets or something and some walls, not even mechs. So. Uh, again, there's a minimum raid points. After that, they just have a chance to, to spawn, pretty much. Uh, yeah, yeah, I kind of like that, yeah. As far as the wealth thing, yeah. Crane's the best. Throw everything in the incinerator? Yeah, you gotta be real quick about it, yeah. Okay, so we've got those two set up. We're waiting on this other, uh, gene scan... So we are also getting some plasteel again, so that's good. Are we doing on actual steel? Oh, we're still really good on steel. So let's start working on this power room so we can get the other hydroponics. We're gonna need we're gonna need to go juice real soon. We're actually really good on food again, so I'm gonna switch uh this side over to cycloid. Here we go. 
All right, let's uh, let's get this going here. Okay. And doesn't have to be perfect, I guess. We have enough for two atomizers right now. These we can dump on the tribal still. Get rid of those. Uh, waste bags. They'll do some retaliation reads, that's alright. Although that almost screwed us up once. We also can finish this off really easily. Yeah, that's fine. Don't know if the world can handle two atomizers. Dead from the flu. It's alright, we got others. Got others. Transport pods complete, it says. Uh, where are we dropping them? These guys. Yeah. Alright, we might get retaliated on. That's fine. Another dead donkey, it's fine. Also fine. Everything is fine. Three patients waiting for... Yeah, it's kind of weird that they were... Doing this, but... Anyway, I really hope we get that dead calm gene. That would be fantastic. Looks like we got two more lungs, so let's get that going. Alright. So... Tox fire left, tox fire right. Mainly doing this so that... These slaves don't end up getting uh, screwed over in in these uh, long shotgun tunnel fights where there's either wasters pumping in gas or uh, like lung rot bullcrap going on. What's the best thing to send to make allies? So they changed it now where you don't get as much rep from, from gifts either way. So generally just whatever the lightest thing is, so you can send it in less trips. So that still means things like drugs and human leather are pretty high up there. But yeah, it's just the lighter the stuff, the better, because you can just put more in there at once. Versus girl, go to sleep. And Rayner. But it's all just based on how much wealth you're giving them. So it's not like... It's not like there's a bonus for certain items. It would be kind of interesting if different factions had bonuses for different items. It would make a lot of sense. Like, maybe the pigs want weapons and meat, you know? And it's weird that the Empire is against drugs, but they get a ton of of rep if you give them drugs, right? So, kind of weird. Maybe tribals give you would give you extra, for like, medicine and drugs or something. But... Uh, well, you'd probably just want to make flake, but it, it just depends, but if you're, if you're doing it just for straight up rep, you probably want to turn your leaves into flake. The Empire is against drugs. And they have Hussar. Yeah, they have Hussar and they sure will buy endless amounts of drugs. <laughs> Can she have a real name? Yeah, she should. Yeah, let's get her name. Wow. Are we are we sure about this? It's a dat name. <laughs> Welcome in, dat name. Quick, turn it back to versus girl. Like real life, the black market. Down twelve go juice. Okay. We got a lot of lungs we gotta get rid of too. Sandra will be hitting us again soon, I would guess. I don't know that has anything to do with the lungs, but yeah, it looks like. Keep loading these up. Alright. Uh, what size is this interior here? 13 by 11 for now. That's fine. Alright, power.
We'll start with that. And then the atomizers. The atomizers. Um, I don't remember if these are movable afterwards. Don't remember. Hmm. Atomizers give us the continue button. Continue from what? after the ship for mountain runs what's your preferred power well now the preferred power is usually toxfire generator but um before that it was it was kim fuel kim fuel is actually really efficient yeah i don't think they're movable either so i don't even know if we're gonna end up having more than two uh, it, it won't be as efficient but it's fine most of this run's not efficient. Well, let's hope we don't kill them. Wow, did you look at that? We didn't kill them. I don't think they are either. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Uh, Genie 2, are you ready? Three days. Three days. Okay. All right. Get all that made. Are these loaded up and ready to go again? Medical emergency. Ah, you're fine. Kind of. It's kind of fine. Yeah, Kim Fuel is actually really uh, efficient. You just got to make sure you do something about the heat that they cause under the mountain. Uh, you can find a thin rock roof to remove and vent the heat that way or you know have a tunnel out or you can have air conditioning but they uh the hydroponics will actually a, a setup with hydroponic sun lamp battery and in fuel generator is actually uh, really efficient like you'll you'll never run out of kim fuel that way hydroponic rice i should say I think the setup, if I remember right, is like one sun lamp, 24 hydroponics, uh, two batteries, and three chem fuel generators, something like that. It's been a while since I looked at the exact numbers for them. I feel it's somewhere, somewhere around there. friendly fire. One reason why I just grabbed everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's true. For anyone that doesn't know, raids cannot happen from an edge of the map that is roofed, and that includes overhead mountain. So if you have a mountain that's touching the edge, which normally unmodded mountains do that, you could always vent to the edge of the map. That counts as outdoor if it's open to the edge of the map. As long as that part's roofed, even with overhead mountain. Ambrosia, don't care. We're just waiting on getting that gene. What? You guys have a lot of uh, unfinished things laying here. Also, I have word of inspiration still and plants. Okay. Um. Skulls, you can grab that one. All right, load it again. Uh, 
Are you coming back? Was it EQ? Yeah, there he is. Okay. Taking a little bit of time. Mind runs, a roof, and entire map. Silent sure it's also unmodded, but it's hilarious. No, can't do it. Unmodded. And unmodded, you can't build that close to the edge. Come on, where are you? Make sure no one gets builds this in a weird order this time. Uh, was that? That was scatter drop. We actually haven't had a scatter drop. First one. Um, I didn't get to see what weapon they had. Let's... There are frag grenades, okay. And let's... Let's actually throw EMP. Well, we'll get... We'll get him there in case he needs to throw EMP, I should say. They have a low shield. I don't see any low shields yet. Yeah, I don't think we had a scatter drop. All of our drops so far have been center drops till now. So it's kind of nice in a way. Uh, just one prisoner out of it. And they spread out so much. Can we, oh yeah, with the scatter drop, yeah. Extra annoying too on a map that you have lots of like uh, walls for crops and stuff, how they'll be like dotted inside the walls trying to chase them down. You have random enemies fighting one on one with turrets all over the place and stuff. Clear wall across the bottom edge and roof everything within using pillars and such. Uh, you, you can't without a mod because the building stops like 10 or 11 away and roofs can only go out yeah like seven yeah now if you somehow had pre-existing stuff like it i don't think you could but if you rolled a map that had like some maps will have things like random little rock areas out here you can actually build a roof it, it will allow you if there's already this kind of stuff there so some maps you might be able to block more of it with roof than not Enough meteors, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there is a mod that you can that allows you to build all the way to the map edge. You could always just use that if you really want to do something silly like that. Genie two catatonic. Uh, okay, whatever. You did not finish that still. Come on, EQ. Get with it. Wow, well, actually cleaning some waste. Look at that. Meteor maze, yeah, Winston waves. Some Twitch integration runs look at meteor mazes. You mean they're not just all thousands of horseshoe pins? A couple more days and then we can scan. Uh, we do want to get more mortars. We already have some to claim up there. I'm just gonna, gonna grab them. Where are you? Pessimist waster. Hmm. Interesting. Nuclear stomach. Not bad, not bad. 
How bad is a slave? Wait, were you also bad at everything? Uh, hmm. I have psychic dependency, though. Japan's the dumbest thing you've lost to, or is there worse in your past? Uh, that's that's probably yeah. That's, that has to be it, right? I would say so. Unless you go far enough back to the era of being near the game and just dying from open doors, which I mean, can, it's still a threat no matter how uh, versed in the game you are, right? All right, let's claim these two. Landers will go ahead and unrestrict you again. We're putting the walls in between them so that if one of these gets blown up and that one's already almost used up. We have a lot of barrels we got. That's fine. Uh, anyway, if one of these blows up, it doesn't take them all in some crazy chain reaction. Okay, Flanders, move that one. Move that one. And let's move this turret over a little bit. Actually, there should be good. Paper cut death. I've never had any pond die of paper cuts. <laughs> Doors was that a thing four streams ago where they aggro your turret cause open doors. Did I lose? It seems like the run is still going. <laughs> they asked what was the stupidest way I've ever lost a run and people dropping horseshoes on me. We actually lost that run. Because of that. Yeah, we can do anything. But yeah, uh, open doors or not reconstructed doors. I have enough doors. Uh, absolutely. It still, still causes problems, like I said, even now. But as far as like an actual loss, I think that's that's definitely the, the one that takes it. So three days left to go out and trade down there. Show up with like 20 lungs to trade them. Pollution retaliation. Anyone catatonic, okay. Maybe we'll get some more prisoners. If I that couldn't self tin and died to blood loss, something really minor. Uh, that was yeah, their finger being ripped off. They were bleeding from a finger wound. Yeah, we didn't lose because of that. That was uh, that was during the Great Pig Civil War. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the silliest deaths for sure. That was a secondary colony. That was a pretty crazy one. So for anyone that doesn't know that story, I've told it several times, but for anyone that hasn't been here for it, long, long, long time ago, I was fairly new to the game. I was doing my first playthrough, not first playthrough ever, but the first time I had ever played on a Arid Shrubland map. And for whatever reason, Randy kept giving us pigs. He kept giving us pigs. This was before they were ranch animals, so they were zonable. Uh, they could actually haul and stuff. But anyway... He just kept giving us pigs, and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm, I wasn't the ruthless dictator I am these days, right? And I was like, I'm gonna keep these pigs alive. And we had over 100 pigs, and we were starting to starve to death, and they were starving. And I looked on the map, and there was a forest nearby. And I was like, all right, we're gonna send two people over to make a new colony, and they're gonna take all the pigs with them, and they'll set up, and then maybe we'll go over there after them, after they got set up. So those two people set off with their two pigs, and they go... Uh, over to that part of the world. They show up. They have a social fight or something. One of them kills the other and loses his finger. And then his finger, he has a, a bleed, but he's incapable of caring, which means he can't do doctoring for himself. He ends up dying because he will literally not put a band-aid on his finger. And then in the middle of the map, all like hundred pigs are laying there asleep and they're all bonded to the same guy. All of them are bonded to the same guy. And so... Now I don't let animals bond anymore, and this is one of those reasons why I stopped doing it. Anyway, 100-something pigs all bond to the same guy, and half of them go berserk as soon as he dies, 
and wake up and the other pigs attack those pigs. So there's like a 50 on 50 pig battle royale in the middle of this uh, forest map that's burning a, a dry thunderstorm or something going on at the same time. Yeah, it was a combination of the guy not not being able, not being willing to uh, to tend his own finger wound. He'd rather die, and he did. And uh, over a hundred bonded pigs. <laughs> I wish that I had saved those playthroughs. There's some clips from those things, but I didn't save VODs back then, unfortunately. Love to go back and see some of those early playthroughs. Lost around to a Goron break. Gunner, just let the raids your base. It's going for some food drop by raiders. Yeah, that's why I always talk about those double doors of the space in between them. Yeah, exactly those reasons. Yeah. Love the pig royale story. <laughs> it was such a ridiculous thing. I mean, that was like five or six years ago. Five or six years ago. Very memorable, though. Lots of bacon. Lots of bacon. Only on day five, you'll lurk. Uh, thank you, Neo. Thank you. Lurk on mute. If you do lurk on Twitch to count as a viewer, you have to mute the tab, not the actual video. Just so you know, you might already know that, but it's right click on your browser tab that has the stream in it and just click mute there instead. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Hopefully you enjoy. I mean, it's been a crazy run. Hopefully you enjoy episode five. 16 hours. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twitch won't count you as a. So there, there's two parts of it. If the stream is the active tab and the video is playing and you're muted, you still count as a viewer. But if it's not the active tab, it needs to be playing sound. And the only way to do that without you having to hear the sound, if that's what you want to do for reasons like that, you have to uh, mute the tab, not the video. It's a Chrome extension to mute specific tabs, by the way. Change it to muting a tab, mutes all tabs from that domain. Oh, really? Interesting. Know that at all? Yeah, it's a we one of those weird things. Medical emergency. Now nah, you're fine. Yeah, I use Edge, so I didn't know. That's, that's yeah, I just mute for tab. Also set the volume to 1% sometimes on players, yeah. Lots to clean up. Lots to clean up. A party. Uh, let's launch these. <laughs> Those guys show up in retaliation, <laughs> and then so they send like a hundred or two hundred people off, and like go take care of those guys that keeps dropping garbage on us, and they send two hundred people out, and then like the next day. I get another drop pot of waste and no one comes back home. <laughs> Pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. I mean, we could drop pod human meat and leather back to them. I always thought Edge is only used to download Chrome. You must be thinking about Internet Explorer. Yeah. Edge is literally like built off the same. Uh, like I, I've had much better experience with with Edge than Chrome, honestly. As like resource eating and stuff, yeah. Chrome is like, oh, your system is idle. Let me run something in the background that we don't tell you about. It takes fifty percent of your RAM for some reason. It's like no, but yeah, Edge is basically the same. Yeah, backend as Chrome. Internet Explorer though, which was terrible. I agree. Edge is a Chromium browser, yeah. Just like Chrome. Does it? Uh, let's go look at their tile because we've been dumping waste there for a while. There we go. Yes, yes. So we've been, uh, they're up to 30% pollution. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I'm not converting it, trying to convert anyone. Use whatever you like best. I used, I used Chrome forever. And then, uh, when I got a new PC, I just used Edge for a little bit and I was like, huh. Actually, it's working better for me. So I'll just stay with this. Miss AOL chat. Internet Explorer and AOL. Fire up the Internet Explorer browser and go over to the 
Yahoo chat rooms while I play Yahoo pool. Not that I know. That's way before my time. Way before my time. Oh, there's going to be a lot of lung rot. There's a lot of stuff to clean up. A lot of stuff. Uh, right, Genie. It's got to be time, right, Genie? Back in my day. Heard about that National Geographic. Genie number two. All right, Genie number two. Give me the right. Gene. Microsoft has burned their bridge with you. I would ask in what way, but I mean, if you want to tell by all means, but like I said, I'm not trying to convert anyone, so I don't care what you use, use whatever. Internet Explorer, yeah. I never used Internet Explorer after I learned about other things. I used Firefox for years and Chrome for years. Now I just leave Edge on things. P Music Solitude, you love this track? It's a good one. It's very super chill. They're all good. All the P Music. I think about that every time when I'm like, man, this is a good P Music track. It's like, is there a bad P Music track? No. Queuing up video and eating lunch before it loads. Yeah, I, just the other day on stream, I was talking about. Like going on LimeWire or Kazaa and being like, I'm going to download a song mm. in the end dot E X E. That's weird. And it's it's it seems bigger than another song. Oh, well, <laughs> let's download in the end dot E X E. Must be a new music type. I'm used to MP3s, but we'll see what this is. What do we get? What do we get? Great intellect. Well, I guess I'm going to go off and trade again. Man. Oh, man. <sighs> uh, that's a lot of human leather. I don't... Yeah, we don't need to take all of that. So... Probably good to leave some of that back home. Oh crap. Um I want to take blood this time. Alright. How dare you give us great intelligence? Yeah, we don't want that on our slaves. I can't even research. Do you know I'm looking for a dead calm for the for the blood bags if we have dead calm they'll never do a prison breakout so then we can get them out of these beds and we don't have to have someone hand feed them every day this is taking up so much time feeding them this way so if we can get dead calm we put dead calm into all the prisoners and then we can give them all peg legs and just leave them so many prisoners yeah and they're, they're all legless well most of them are legless We don't need as many anymore either. We're actually positive on Hemogen, but... Yeah. What's this room going up here? We could add even more of these, actually. Legolas! That's right. That's what I, that's what I was thinking to when I said that. Man. That's like the... Let's see, we've scanned genies four times now and have gotten pretty much everything else. Everything that we don't need. But Edcom would be super nice. All right, off to trade. Here's some bulk goods traders. They're not going to have genes, but we can just grab components and stuff from them. Might as well. Uh, components... Could sell some of the jeans that we're never going to use. Mm. Hey, you guys want some want some human meat? Boy, do we! Hmm. 
They have tons of Nutrien. Yeah, that's good enough. Oh, my bad. Thank you. Thought I already placed that. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Landers, go grab those components. Maze, yeah, they haven't gotten woken up yet. Simbi's in there a long time. Just chilling. Just chilling. People who pick stuff up with their feet and toes and bring it to their hands. I can do that. Yeah, I haven't done that forever, though. Another run, wanting bad jeans, getting good ones. Yeah. yeah. Play Yahoo Spades. I remember that, too. I don't think... Another pollution retaliation, huh? Uh, we haven't even cleaned up from the other one. Ugh. My nose, my nose. Well, well, well. I'm so glad we got the roar voice on all of our thralls. Very important. At least we got that gene, you know. Let's go. Honestly, you guys can just go do work. Just go do work. Don't go out there. Don't come back in here. All the places leading outside. Yep, you're good. Just just go work. Oh, you got this. Don't worry about it. Okay, Jimbo is getting pretty beat up there. Mana, you're tough. You go over here instead. Always forget Kijimbo is not tough. You would think he would have grown up tough, but no. He did not. Uh, what happened to your weapon? I think it's littered with Twinkies. <laughs> lung rot. Crap, Nico. You're next on the list for lungs. Just stop getting lung rot. to clean up, lots to clean up. Uh, where'd your weapon get bounced to? Friggin' knows. Oh, way out here. Wow, I got pushed all the way out outside. Okay.
The blood account, formerly known as the Vampire Daycare. That's right, all the kids have grown up. Sad. There's just a constant cats in the cradle playing throughout the cave. They grew up so fast, we missed so much of their childhood because they were busy killing people. In talk suits? Who? Uh, these? No, no, these are tribal, so these are just burkas. Burkas. We need extra skulls, actually. Think of it. And we are in Cataphract. Here. All right, give me them jeans. No, no jeans, no jeans. Uh, these have already reset, right? Yep. Yep. What about these guys? There's a rooster in the neighborhood. Interesting. All right, well, that's no jeans here this time. Well, let's trade a few of these donkeys. And I guess we'll grab the advanced components over here. Might as well grab the normal components. If they don't have go juice. Pain block would be interesting in this one. But not really something we super need. Uh, I guess we could just buy the Plasteel, too. Much of it as we can, anyway. Which is all of it, apparently. All right. Need wood as well. Um, I think we're still doing all right on wood. I'll check though. Yeah, we're still good from that raid. We still have 800. All right, speaking of raids, what do you have nearby? We have a wood raid nearby. The power to breed the kids in vats. I'm done with kids, yeah. We, we're like sterilizing everyone. We've raised enough children. Every one of these were a, was a child at one point in this run. 10. How does raid someone else work? So we have the ideology for raider. So we have to raid someone every so often or else we get a mood penalty. If we raid them, we get a mood increase and the people that actually went on the raid get an extra mood increase. Uh, you just show up. It's a tiny map. It tells you ahead of time how many people are going to be there. And depending on what the faction is, we'll determine what kind of enemies there are, whether they have tribal weapons or, or, you know, industrial weapons or whatever. And yeah, you just show up, you kill them, and then it counts as a raid. And then you can grab all whatever they, they had on the way home. It is an ideology thing. Like this one has elephant le leather and pemmican. Sometimes you can get a mining site that has like 200 components. Uh, yeah, you should be able to watch 1080. Yeah. Can always try reloading it, but yeah, it should be. Uh, Aruka says, yeah, they have all the options on theirs on mobile, yeah. Like the Mongol tribe, kinda. The Mongols had assault rifles. <laughs> uh, we gotta get this cleared out again. Lots of things to do. Man, I really wish we could get that dead calm gene. It's not like required, but it would would help a lot. Just acting up for certain users, only offering seven twenty happened to you on a few streams. Usually if it's not showing that especially on a partnered stream, if it's not showing transcoders, you just have to reload the stream. But if they're not a partner, they're not guaranteed transcoders either way. How many slaves are we at now? We have eight thralls. And 18 prisoners. Oh, more than that. 21 prisoners. I can see all the pixels. Nice. God, we have so much to clean up. 
Okay, so we should have a lot of excess power in now. We can get... Oh, that's still going to get made. It might not can reach that. Let me check. Can't reach it. Okay. They should be able to reach that. Yeah, there they go. All right. So let's get another one of these set up. I'm sure it's something you can get in the game or is it a mod? It's from no pause mod. Uh, I think most people that don't want to do no pause that still want extra speed options get a mod called smart speed, smart speed. You can also just have, so if you have developer mode open, uh, if you hit the number four, it'll go in 4x speed, but you won't have the icon for it. So yeah, I think most people use smart speed, but the thing that's giving it to me is the no pause mod. Dev mode shows the icon, it doesn't for me. Smart speed is the one that you've used forever. It doesn't show it for me when I use dev mode. Outside of the no pause mod. Or outside of mods, I should say. Uh, all right, well, we'll do that again in nine days. Nothing else we can do about it. We got plenty of steel for that. We will need more steel for too long, though. We are using it up pretty quickly. Oh, right. I was going to go trade lungs. Why make it 4x speed? 4x speed button isn't even... None of these are actually the amount of speed that it says. They're actually more than. But yeah, I use it to go through like slow times like this. Like Just being on lo lower s speed right now just make the run take even longer for no real benefit. Mm -hmm. Price of belief. Oh well, we're selling you to the Empire. Pause for X and no combat slow down. Just don't enable no pause the storyteller selection. Yeah, yeah, that's true too. Uh oh, your sirens outside. They must be after that chicken. A lot of sirens. Uh, so we'll get another hydroponic set up. How are we doing on the go juice? Yeah, we got quite a bit. We got enough the thralls aren't going to die. So what do we need to set up for the end game events? Like there's a lot we can set up. The main thing though is we want to get this completely done. And maybe a couple more shooters. That's about it. I think we're actually fine to do it. Oh, we need to get other woman to their royal title. Right. That's right. Okay, so this guy we can set back there. Uh, let's get rid of that. We don't need another piano right now. Yeah, we'll just do the steel door. It's fine. in class due to drug overdose. That sucks. Make pleasure pods for your old guest. Yeah, I have that chamber up here too. Yeah. Yeah, it's already done aside from actually making the pods. Price to believe. What's going on with you? No recent conquest. Yeah. 
Don't worry, we'll get we'll get some conquests going here. I guess we might as well grab this deal. Yeah, so we'll get the bioregenerator here for the pleasure cycle. Oh, we actually had another chip. That's right. We have enough for three. Forgot about that. Guys, take 400 watts of power. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of steel. Uh, we can also open this, clean up that under there. Well, let's not worry about removing the pollution out there. Uh, having waste back infestation out there might might actually be handy in the long run. Okay, I'll figure out some work too. Oh, did we put more in this? We have some there. They'll take it to the atomizer. It's fine. We want this to at least negative 17 Celsius. So that bugs don't spawn. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. frenzy good uh we should go through these and see if there's any that i want to turn into a shooter so we want someone that has traits that will make them unhappy and we want them to have not a lot of passions so mm, second sensitive probably not good bloodlust definitely not good for it very neurotic is good for it though optimus no he has got a lot of passions. Night Owl Jealous. Maybe? Maybe Badger? Badger, 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 Badger. Recluse, Abrasive. So, this would be a pretty good one. Don't have any passions in any of the work that we'd make them do. Guy's name is just Nose. Literally just Nose. All right, Nose, you're on the list of maybe becoming a shooter. Greedy would be good, but they are too passionate about things. Like, Nose is uh, pretty high on the list right now. All right, Nose. Let's get you converted. And then let's go ahead and install. Want to go ahead and do these or not? Um, what all do we have over here right now? Yeah, we still have two mind screws. We have the bionic legs. I need to double check that. We have two of the lungs. Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and remove the tongue. Install the mind screw. That's fine. And then also. Uh, we need to make another one of these jeans thing jeans here. Yeah. Load the tox no sleep juice. There we go. Double passion shooting. I don't want them happy. I have to make sure they're not happy. So someone that has double passion shooting when they're over there shooting, they're going to be happy and I can't have that. So unfortunately, I need someone that's going to you like even that's not super great, but I need someone that's going to be unhappy most of the time. So I was mainly just not looking for someone that's good at shooting, mainly looking at someone that's going to be unhappy, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. Completely opposite of what I'd normally do in a run, but I need people that are miserable to be my soldiers. Hmm. 
This stun's okay. Why do I need unhappy soldiers? Wish I could sticky this onto the screen. Terror slavery. There it is. That's why. Why are you describing me? Got undead. Link, welcome in. So I'll make them happy when they are hunting. Um, the passions. I thought it was like when they were actually shooting. We might be right. Might be misremembering. More fun way of holding slaves. There's a lot of other ones you can add to. Like you can add the one instead where if you make them happy, they don't break out. So which kind of makes makes more sense, I guess. You can also add the part where they either can or can't be in relationships with them. It adds quite a bit of precepts and memes around slavery. Refugees? Oh. Are any of you genies? Well, it's looking like no. <laughs> I mean, obviously they're not. Wait, wait, there's one. I didn't see that one at first. All right. Another chance. Here we go. Excellent. Actually, don't don't use that yet. For you guys, uh, I don't know. Come stand in this toxic waste. We can use them to wake up the centipedes. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do that. Let's go stand around that explosive rat for some reason. We fine. Don't worry about it. Genie three. Guys, you I'm telling you you don't want to go this route. All right. Oh, that guy knows how to hold a gun. Uh oh, <laughs> they're just picking up all these guns. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting on on that. All right, all right Genie Three, nice, nice. Genie three. Another chance. Uh, did we end up getting that? Yeah. Who was it? Nose. Plant Xenogerm. Uh, that one we don't want to do yet because they're going to need go juice. So let's get them converted first. We'll take long. Crazy. A bunch of free slaves showed up. Right. Free slaves. I don't say why why doesn't it update? I yeah, thank you. Probably a good time to split the recording for the editor as well, so let me just go ahead and do that. Alright, recording has begun. We are finally back. After seconds. Using Psycast Expanded, I am not. What do you think about it? I've never used it. Makes the game too easy. Yeah, that's always the thing with mods, right? So you can have mods that make the game easier, make the game harder. So typically mo mods that are, if you're wanting a more difficult experience, mods that make the game more or, uh, easier, you're going to want to add other mods to also make it more difficult. So I don't really use very many mods at all. Every now and then I'll do a modded theme themed run like this one. We have a couple of mods. But in general, I know people will add things like, you know, they use that and they'll add like a harder storyteller or they'll use... Uh, things like, what is it, like alpha animals or, uh, uh oh, what do we, what do we fail there? Things like that. So they'll, they'll, they'll balance it themselves with other, oh no, they got a brain scar. 
That's unfortunate. Ooh, wait. Yeah, just bad luck. Catastrophic failure. Everyone's a 14 or better on medical. There's a regrow limb psychast. <laughs> That's scary. Or you can just not use the ones that are overpowered. Yeah, yeah. It's up to you. That's the thing about mods, right? Well, nose. I don't know about this now. Brain's gonna be at seventy percent. We could put them through a re uh, a cycle to heal their brain. Might be worth it to have the extra shooter. I don't know. I don't know. We'll keep converting them. Badger's another option though. I can convert them as well. Very powerful sidecast with some pretty big downsides and some just utility sidecasts that aren't OP in it that you just use. Yeah, at the end of the day, just do whatever's fun for you. If the mod is making the game no longer fun, Uninstall it, or like I said, install other things to make it uh, make it more difficult in other ways, right? Or don't use the more overpowered ones, or if you don't want to, or if you don't have the self control not to, just don't don't use them at all. Fun's a violation of the terms of service. I've heard that. Yeah. All right, come on, Genie Three. No such thing as cheating. No such thing as cheating, and everything is cheating. Both are true somehow <laughs> with Rim World. Need death rest. All right. I like the ability to choose a sidecast tree, like a skill tree. Come on, dead calm. You can have anything else attached with it as you, if you want. I don't care. This is our fifth try at getting dead calm. Elongated fingers. Execute them. Let's get any vanilla mode ever again. Ever experience it with mods. You must be newer to the channel, which is fine. I'm glad there's newer people coming to the channel. <laughs> That's usually how I play. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I do quite a few vanilla runs per month. And generally, I use basically no mods other than key music and uh, something that makes it so I can't pause. And that's pretty much it. So, like, I do Rimin Ship every month, which is vanilla. And Rimin Community Challenge, I usually do is vanilla every month. Uh, so, yes, yes. I, I very often go back to vanilla. I do more vanilla and vanilla adjacent runs than, than not. Yeah, I don't mean it in a negative way. I'm always glad when there's newer people in the channel. But I do remember um, one stream, someone asked me, like, why don't you ever play modded runs? You never use any mods. And then the next day, I was doing a run where I added a couple of, of like, quality of life mods for a themed run. And someone else came in and they're like, why do you use so many mods? Why don't you ever play vanilla? And I was like, what the crap? <laughs> It's just, you never know when people are coming in and out of a stream, right? So, it's just kind of funny. Tiny map run got you hooked. That's an old one, yeah. I think that was the first one I ever uploaded. Peaceful Cassandra, zero raids. All learning. Talk about hearts game. So broken. I mean, variety. You remember that too? Yeah, it was like literally back-to-back -back days, so. It's pretty funny. But yeah, it doesn't bother me or anything. It's just, uh, just funny when that happens. Oh no, I like seeing how to do it and what might go wrong. Yeah, I hardly use mods for any game. Uh, occasionally will, like I said, for themed runs or like I will do a modded run as a one-off just for just for fun. And again, usually for a theme. But most of my games, I, I don't really play with mods. But I, I don't mind if people do, obviously. Play what, whatever you like, whatever you enjoy. More drugs. Our mod's a wall. A little bit. A little bit. 
But you run similar, yeah. Looks like it's fun. Rain random. He's kicking your butt. Should you switch to Cassandra? Uh, Cassandra. So is if this is your first time ever doing losing is fun, I'm still under the. I, I still will tell anyone like Cassandra on average is more difficult than Randy on the harder difficulties. I in my storyteller guide I say I put something in there that I've been saying for like I don't even know six years or something is that Cassandra kills you on purpose and then Randy kills you by accident. So you definitely switch to Cassandra because if you if you want because at least you'll know when she can and can attack. So that alone if you if you know her cycle might actually make it easier for you. But in general, on average, Cassandra is going to hit you with more raids, more back-to-back -back events, and more raid points than Randy is. Again, just on average. But yeah, you can always try it. Uh, one of the things about switching storytellers is it resets their cycle as well. So if you just need a break, turning Cassandra's, uh, turning from Randy to Cassandra, you're going to have a cycle where you're not really going to get a raid. So you just do that to even just catch your breath if you want, or even switch over to Phoebe and have it like a 20 day breather. No, I was hoping that didn't get destroyed. We ended up destroying it. So yeah, that was a 20 hive infestation. But how do you deal with bugs? It's a mystery. No a woman cycle makes life easier. Yeah. Bill's body using the time so it really is. Here, you're gonna. Uh, oh yeah, let me explain it for you, old man Spook, so that you can use it whenever you want, even in underhead, uh, even in under overhead mountain. So basically, for anyone that hasn't seen this, you want a non-flammable door of any kind, and then once you have this, you can vent coolers into that door. Doors count as a one by one room, so it will disperse or delete the heat, but it stops working if you have a fourth cooler. So. You can only go up to three, and there's one other important part. This can't touch wall, or else it reverses some of it as well. So you want uh, a, a door. It doesn't need to be unroofed. It can even be under a mountain, like you see here. And up to three coolers in it, and just make sure you don't have any of it touching a wall. Like, you don't want a wall here, because that's going to count almost like you had a fourth cooler. So I just make sure it just doesn't touch. Like, this, this right here would get this room to, like, negative 200 degrees if you wanted it to. Uh, it's really nice because, again, you don't have to worry about raids or uh, you don't have to worry about uh, the roof over it. You can use it under mountain, but also you don't have to worry about raids hitting it on your outer wall or anything like that. So super handy. It's very, very efficient. It deletes heat more quickly and more efficient than just venting it out as well. So you end up needing less coolers overall. It's a really, really good trick, cheesy thing if you want to use it to use, especially in mountain maps. Are you turned on bug? Almost looked down and said no. <laughs> that would have been bad. Can you make a free skill box? You can, but it's not very good. You can, but there's a lot of there's a lot of problems with it where you might as well make a burn box instead. So the freezing the freezing box or freeze tunnel will give them hypothermia and down them, but there's a couple things about that. First off, it requires a lot of power and a lot of wealth, whereas a burn tunnel just you can just do a burn tunnel with one molotov and nothing just a molotov so if the power goes out for any reason you don't have enough power you have a solar flare whatever uh emi event suddenly your killing area doesn't work anymore and it's going to take a lot of wealth for the cooler it's going to take a lot of wealth for the power infrastructure to get the coolers running uh the other thing is that clothing is really good at cold weather and raiders will come in with parkas and so even tribals are going to arrive with parkas sometimes and even some of the the tribal wear is actually pretty good in, in the cold depending on which material it's out of so typically you won't down like you, you might down like half the raid so it's you can do it but it is more complex it has way more weaknesses 
And if you're going to do something like that, you might as well just do a burn tunnel, honestly. There's a 3D rip off of this on Steam. What's the name of it? Let's see if it's an actual rip off or it's just another game of the genre. God, I remember. So, I, Darkest Dungeon used to be my primary game and primary challenge game back in the day. And if I played any other turn based combat game, people would come in and be like, Is this a Darkest Dungeon clone? Like, yeah, yeah. Um, Darkest Dungeon invented 4 on 4 turn based combat. So, this is obviously a clone. <laughs> Is there set up already? I'll check the video. Uh, no, I didn't. It's in the Discord, though, if you want to search for it. And I'm not setting up the exact amount. Like, Basically, what it comes down to is these count as a wall. So you can make these into a room that holds up a roof and just have enough atomizers to handle the toxic output and enough pumps to just pull it out. And then you make the room cold just in case there's any, um, any toxic bags there in the meantime. From Okami Fortnite. Everything's a Pong clone. Used to be a Darkest Dungeon stream, yeah. There's a 3D RimWorld mod, is there? <laughs> That's crazy. Stranded Alien Dawn is a 3D ripoff of RimWorld. Uh, <laughs> all right. Pull a lot from it. What do you want people to do when they make a when they make a game the same genres? That's what I don't understand for people. Like not you specifically. So I mean, you brought up the point, right? So, like, if they come out with a new car, are, are people like, "Oh my God, four wheels again," and it has doors and the doors open like it has it has seats? Like, there's just some things that are going to be the same no matter what. And when a a game can definitely be. I mean, everything is derivative. Like, literally everything is derivative. There is no new movie plot in the world. Like, things have been derivative for hundreds and thousands of years. So it's just... Now, there are clones and ripoffs for sure. Like, you'll get those games that you get advertised on Facebook that's like... Atlas, the, the Death King, and it's literally like... Arthas from from WoW, you know, <laughs> but it's just named differently. But um, yeah, I, I think having lots of the same systems in a game because they're good systems for a player isn't a ripoff. Like if a game has a uh, a work priority system, which RimWorld didn't invent this either. But if a game has a work priority system, that's just a good thing for a game that has tasks to have for you to be able to administer those things. You don't need to like reinvent the wheel, right? But SimCity 2000, yeah. Going medieval is the way you found the channel. That's interesting. Yeah, I still haven't come back to that. But yeah, there are abs absolutely clones and ripoffs. But I don't think anything that takes systems and deriv is derivative of other. Like derivative has become a bad word, but I don't really think it is a bad thing. Like there's gonna be. Games that have good systems and whatnot. Or you can run into something that I hate where they actually, if they do come up with a new system where they actually copyright it or whatever and others aren't allowed to use it. That is the worst. So the biggest example of that is the uh, Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War. Those games with the Nemesis system. WB has the Nemesis system, uh, like whatever, copyrighted. It is a great system and no one can use it without being sued by a massive company and shut down. And it is an amazing system that I wish, I wish there were so many more games that had it, but WB does not allow it. You cannot use the Nemesis system. So I am glad that people are able to derive from, and in, in some cases improve on concepts and designs that previous games made yeah, I didn't think you were able to do that either, right? But they have. It really sucks. You knew exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah, the Nemesis system is so so good. It's such a fun system. Those games are really good. I have two. I have playthroughs of both of those games up on YouTube. They're really fun games. And they are mainly fun because of the Nemesis system. And no one else can use them. Which is really unfortunate. So, we have to just sit around and hope they put out other good games that use the Nemesis system because no one else can use it. Which sucks. 
yeah, like, imagine RimWorld did invent um, the work schedule page like it is, right? Or uh, the first game that had a research tree, a branching research tree. Let's just say they could have copyrighted it. That would be terrible for everyone. That is annoying. I can't believe it. it's it's coincidence that that guy made something that's very similar name to my channel, but I actually had the name Adam versus everything before Adam ruins everything was a thing. But he had a column called Adam ruins everything back in Harvard. Yes, even before that. But a lot of people think that, yeah. The Shadows of Mordor game, uh, WB released one more game in the Nemesis system that I never played. I think it was a Wonder Woman game. Pretty sure it was a Wonder Woman game. I had it. Don't like that Adam anyway. The other Adam. Thanks. Even worse, yeah, copyright it and not use it after the fact, yeah. <laughs> Fight with him win. <laughs> Would you do a mock boxing match against Adam Ruins Everything for the rights to the name? Uh, yes. Yeah. Let's go. Let's set it up. Copyright, copyright. Yeah, like I said, uh, not to like, I'm not trying to jump on you about the, the comment or whatever, but yeah, it's just that, uh, obviously there's going to be things like, you know, imagine Rogue. Rogue, which spawned an entire, two entire genres and hundreds of subgenres. And somehow never had any game derived from its systems. That would suck. We would we'd be lesser for it. So if RimWorld ends up being the influence for other games that are similar and they're good games, then great. And if they're bad, hopefully they fail. But they're very specific that most of the time you aren't infringing, but WB might still tie you up. Yeah, because they're a massive company, right? So yeah, if they want to. I wrote up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, I don't read anything towards you about it, but. But uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't played it yet. A lot of people have uh, I've recommended it though. Like Dota clones, yeah, an entire genre based off of a uh, StarCraft uh, and Warcraft three. What you? Crap. Use map settings. Custom custom map. I remember playing the very first Defense Against the Ancients. Use map settings thing. I need death rest after this. All right. That games get better too. Yeah. Yeah. Still a StarCraft 2 guy. I was catching up on GSL this morning. Don't ruin it. I just finished watching the first two matches of GSL this morning when I was eating breakfast and getting ready. On copyrights video games in general. Because <laughs> I don't have enough shooters to fill this in entirely yet, so it's there for when I get these shooters. That's one reason why we've been working on this. 70% brain, that's unfortunate. We gotta convert these. We're just trying to shut down. Luckily they failed. Oh, to shut Dota down? Yeah. That's actually how I first streamed. For anyone that doesn't know, I did my very first stream in 2010 on Justin TV with the StarCraft Alpha Beta. So I played competitive StarCraft Brood War. Not like South Korean competitive, but like North American competitive. And so I was one of the early uh, people to get uh, an Alpha or Beta key for StarCraft 2. And I started streaming 2010. But... I didn't stream a lot, so I just literally streamed to show other people the beta. So I honestly would stream like like three to ten hours a month. <laughs> to watch Mr. Bitters back in the Justin TV days. In con coached by In Control and stuff. Yeah, I haven't mentioned the In Control story in a long time. That's like a purple. Is it? It's probably. Oh, okay. You got fed. It's probably more likely the higher level you are, I guess. 
Yeah, so I didn't really know him, but I played against him quite a bit uh, in ladder and stuff like that. And then we used to have Clan Wars. They were called on WGT World Gaming Tour Clan Wars. And so he ran a team and I was in a, another team. And so we had Clan War and stuff. But then in the StarCraft 2 beta... Oh, whoops. I grabbed the wrong person. The StarCraft 2 beta... I ran into him on the beta ladder. It was one of those first Blizzard maps, the really tiny maps where it's like your bases and then a, a gully right between. And it was, I was Zerg and he was Protoss. And we were maybe like eight to 10 minutes into the game and he was winning, but hadn't, it, like I could still win. Like it wasn't like I was literally losing my base or something, but he was ahead. And then we got the notification that Blizzard was restarting the servers. And he started typing in chat to try to get me to leave the game. <laughs> he was like, come on, man, you know you're gonna lose this one. Just leave the game so I can get the ladder points. And, and I was like, I'm not leaving. You don't know that you're gonna win this. And so that's the last ever interaction I had with him. It's just us uh, arguing about trying to make me leave the game so that someone could get ladder points for the server restarted and we both got nothing. <laughs> no, you leave the game. You still come back and win. So yeah, that must have been like 2010, 2011 maybe. I tried RimWorld PvP. No, I haven't. Yeah, uh, some people mentioned it, but I still haven't looked at it. I don't. I don't know anything about it at the moment. Uh, right. We have the Bionic legs. Friend has the. Okay, good. No reverse card. Stealing nerds, nerds ladder points. That's right. Skulls needs death rest. Emerald PvP sounds horrendous. Yeah, I'm not sure how it would work. Twelve honor. Twenty-five days. Eight prisoners. Blood rot required daily treatment. Ugh. Problem is, they might end up having a breakout. Otherwise, I would really like to do that. Wait, did I? Okay. I guess we'll try it. Really need that honor on her. Oh, that's a lot of work to be, to do. Hang on, hang on. Doesn't that screw it up? I'm trying to remember. I think you have to take to bed, not hit capture. So I might have screwed it up. There is a quest that ends up being like that, but I don't remember if it's that one or not. Hopefully I'm wrong. No, it's, it's fine, I think. Uh, let me check someone that's on Wardening. Yeah, I think it is Take the Bed, actually. No, that's fine. I don't think it matters. No, there we go. Take to Bed, Take to Bed. Um, who else is on Wardening? EQ and Other Woman.
great. We're gonna end up failing the quest. they have oh they got doomsdays too um someone grab an emp up here just in case I haven't looked at it yet. Yeah, I saw the name maybe on like uh, uh, Steam recommended or something, but I haven't looked at it yet, so I don't know. Oh, there's a low shield that we actually actually killed him in the melee hit, so we didn't use it. such wording right um really would like to get this done those guys are laying down to dat name are you on wording that was versus girl Alright, so uh, who is almost there? Feel... Oh, okay, that name is on the way for that one. The last one? I think so. Yeah, we gotta get that doomsday out of there too. One ends up hitting it. We need... no, we're good on uh, components. I was like, are we low on components? But no, we're good. We're good. All right, I think last one's coming up now. Go on, Ringar. To them at Luciferium. To the prisoners? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. Please do comment extended. I have no plans doing that at this time. Won't say never, but I don't I don't have any plans right now. Virus organization. Yeah. Another doomsday. Multiple. Okay. Doomsday rocket on a very large insect ray. The Doomsday rocket friendly fired on his people. He got like three fourths of his colony. <laughs> Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Uh, Genie one's probably ready to go again. No, three three and a half days. Okay. Uh, we need the Empire. 
Uh, tribute collector show up. How are we doing? We're doing fine. Yeah, today's been pretty pretty straightforward so far. We've had a couple of kind of really scary moments, but yeah, it's been fine so far. Pretty straightforward day. Oh god. What meal do until you have X? X is ten. Uh, drop on the floor. There we go. Don't he's gonna start starving. How efficient are the atomizers? They're they're pretty efficient actually once you get them going. There's a setup with a room where you can get some crazy amount. People in the Discord were setting up the room where there were the room was like plus nineteen thousand power and it was pollution neutral. Like either three or four atomizers. Yeah. It is pretty good once you get it all set up and running. It takes a while. Unless you have a mechanic and you can just Summon the mechs. Pigs. Yeah, I think I am going to wall this sometime. Yeah, I saw. I saw there were some in here. Yeah. Hopefully it's all right. Yeah, and I know there's more doomsdays. Yeah, I was mentioning that too. But they're not in the path where we can accidentally shoot them, like stray shots to shoot them. Should be good for right now. For base. Yeah, this is a mountain base. Yep. Yep. Alright, get this done, and then we'll get this switch over to wall. We don't have to, don't have to worry about animals eating this as much. Didn't take nano structuring chips to make it. Yeah, the nice thing is you don't have to go through the other mech research at least, but yeah. That would be... That would be nice. Yeah, I think someone was just talking about that. They didn't say what name it was, but Caps Key was on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Dr. Fart, PhD. Thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime. And Lack Focus, thank you for the 12 months. Well, that's almost a full calendar year, Focus. Uh, thank you, Dr. Fart, PhD. Thank you again, Focus. Why are you screaming? Jimbo needs death rest. Okay. Hey, everyone found your videos on YouTube. Thanks for the long form content. It's been great. Uh, yeah, my pleasure. My pleasure. There's a lot of playthroughs on there that are kind of older now so some of the stuff might not be as accurate anymore so uh watching the newer play throughs are probably the best as far as learning goes uh in fact someone earlier asked which which of the playthroughs i would suggest these days for like a a learning playthrough and probably the best one about a month ago or so i did a 500 percent no pause vanilla speed run so that one is very min max and i go every over everything but it's min max in a vanilla way so that might be a good one if, uh, if anyone hasn't seen that one. Uh, aside from that, it's, it's still it's from last year, but the first no kill box run. Maybe I should do a over explains run sometime. A newer one. Arch and Ancient Danger on the off chance it had a doomsday so you could kill a mech raid during Rumor Cutie monthly events. Say hold against a breacher mech raid. Nice. 
Uh, you need to study the chip, and then it takes a chip to make the atomizer as well. Yeah. Unfortunate. No works lanes run would be popular. Yeah, I could I could do that. It would make a good edited video too. Like a literal guided playthrough. There we go. Everyone remembers their first colony death. Going Kim, welcome back. Uh Guten Tag, etc. You like the offset? You want me to do a run where I explain nothing? <laughs> That's kind of the Rimworld or the Rimmingship runs, right? I'm so like dialed in that unless there's some downtime, which is very little during those, I'm just like focused on on getting the wealth. Put ideology run again. Oh my god, yeah. I I still will never forget when someone news the channel came in, and we were four years or something like that into that run, and they were like. How are you four years into the run? It seems like there's not a lot done. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, thanks. How did it take you almost four years to research beds? It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Mystery. Maybe because my character was unconscious for two years of it. I might do it. Going through Men in Black. Like it was the only way to survive. <laughs> Is that what I replied with at first? Just said yes. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, misclick. Took out the whole power grid. <laughs> it's like the equivalent of having someone come mow, and mow your lawn or something. They rip through your... Your fiber optic cable for internet. Not that I know how that goes. A devil summon. He does have some crappy pants. Who's having heat stroke? Oh, it is pretty warm in there with all those going, isn't it? That is a pretty warm room. All of those doors open. Uh, remove. Yeah, you can't remove bionics and things like that off of dead ponds without a mod. You had a truck pass through the street and just tear off the power internet cables. Yeah, we had to have a fiber optic cable replaced recently because we we had some. Uh, we ordered some. God, what's it called? Anyway, the person that came out and was fixing something outside apparently dug up part of the fiber optic cable. Oh. I think Granny is scarier. Mulch is the word. I don't know why I couldn't think of mulch. We ordered some mulch. And they came out when they went to spread it. They apparently ripped through a cable somehow. I have no idea. Dug up a cable. Some aggressive mulch. Laying, I guess. It's 401 or 811. All free dig. They weren't even digging. That's what I don't understand. Like, what? They were just literally putting down a new layer of mulch. Like, I don't know how they managed to do it. Like, what were they doing? No idea. Bolt Goods, uh, right. UG Partners. Bolt Goods Trading. Cable, okay, yeah, that might be it. I used to, back when I managed a call center, some of the things that got escalated a lot were Comcast not doing uh, drop berries correctly. Yeah. Uh, let's buy the components, the advanced components. Uh, 
Might as well buy a plasteel if we can afford it, which we should be able to. Roar voice. 6,900 human leather. Yeah, I think we can afford some, some things. Our cable is three feet -ish deep, depending on where you live. Remember, it's common for drops to the house to be one or two inches. Yeah, because it has to come back up, right, to go into the house. Yeah, that's where that's where they ended up. Uh, like, like, well, obviously they're putting the mulch right around the house, and that's where the cable comes up into the house. But, but yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly how it how it happened because they don't really. I mean, when you're spreading mulch, you're not really doing anything. But maybe they just hit it with like a hoe or a rake or something and pulled it. I have no idea. But anyway. Call center, yeah, managing call center was not fun. No. CIA undercover operation, yeah, after listening to the stream, maybe. Yeah, the war crimes. Yeah. I don't need all these running. Well, you know what? Power's fine right now, so it's whatever. So what are we doing right now? We need to go out on a raid. We just got done with the... Uh, death rest. That's 26 people. That one's got 14. That would be a pretty easy one to take. 14. I might can just do that with just a few of the single phage. Because the problem is when we go on a raid, the people that go with the raiders get a mood buff. And we don't want that mood buff on these guys. So 11 people. We only need to kill like half of them. So I think just me and maybe three of the other single phage can go wipe it out really quick. I'm a orbital, orbital beacons. I have orbital beacon uh, around these shells. You need to build more shells. I have one in the freezer at the moment. That's it. Managing call center creates this. <laughs> yeah, I have one in my storage room and one in the freezer at the moment. Could probably put one in here too, actually, so we can sell those excess lungs that we're ripping out. I'm to think of it. Now let's do that. I can be fully automated with AI next year or so. Uh, I have I have my doubts. Yeah, there might be some automation, but I would I would have my doubts. Typically, every time someone says an industry is going to be gone and within a short amount of time because of anything like AI or whatever, it's typically not the case. Yeah, I, I would be very surprised. Hmm. We might have take though. Uh there's a lot of death rests coming up. So me, Ray, Justin, and that name maybe. Obviously I can be wrong about that. Obviously, you know, of course, of course. Point five days. Uh, if we take some donkeys with us, we can get it down to point three. Okay. All right. Whoa. Whoa. We're going to switch these to a different meal plan here. Now, will some of it be automated? I mean, some of it has been automated by auto automated recordings forever. But how many people will listen to the automated recordings? How many people call into a call center and just right off the bat? They're representative. You know, you call in because your internet's out and it's like, most internet. You get the automated voice. Most internet problems can be fixed by doing a power cycle. If you have not already, please try unplugging your modem and router and plugging them back in. If the problem still persists, please stay on the line. Representative. Representative. Man, I remember... This happened quite a lot, but I do remember a call coming all the way... When I was, uh, let's see, this was when I was a team lead. 
So I got escalated to the team lead position. So before I was uh, managing and the the person's the person's TV was off and they were at. So I had I, we had to try to find ways to not make people angry because they would feel like they were stupid. So we had to make up ways for them to check power. So you couldn't a lot of times you just couldn't ask people, are you sure the TV's turned on? Because you would get someone that's like, I'm not an idiot. There's a red light. The TV's on. The TV can't be off and there'd be a red light on the TV. So you, we'd have to find other ways to get them to like press the button on it. It's like, all right, well, we're going to need you to do this uh, sequence of button presses. So I need you to go to your TV. And I just need you to hit the power and the volume button at the same time. Uh, and then let me know what pops up on the screen. And then all of a sudden you'd hear the, the TV start playing and they were like, well, I guess that fixed it. What did you do? I was like, oh, don't, don't worry about it. You know, that's just something those TVs. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta hit that reset combination because <laughs> people get mad because they're like, they would think you're calling them stupid when you tell them, but it's, it's in the, like you, it's so common. That's why they ask those things. It's so common to have people call in, but my TV's not working. And it's just literally not on. They sat on the remote or something. Older people, usually. What's on your TV right now? A coffee cup? What does it have to do with anything? Fix it. Yeah. Oh, Walgreens is yelling to the phone. Pharmacist. Pharmacist, yeah. <laughs> Please enter your prescription number. Pharmacist. Starting with pharmacist. Yeah, I, I've been on those calls um, as well, yeah. <laughs> Always call a smartphone whiz-bang machines. <laughs> what? <laughs> whiz-bang machine. Give them the Konami code. What? Genie 1? Oh, Genie 1, what are you doing? Genie 1 grew up in prison. He's 10 and became an optimist. How are you an optimist? You've been stuck in this horrific environment and you get your genes harvested like every 10 or 10 or 15 days. All right. That's actually you, yeah. <laughs> Great version of Google basically. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It can't get any worse. Oh, it could be worse. It could be worse, little little genie lad. What do we got here? All right. Here they come. Now run forward and undraft. Now run over here. Get that turkey. Undraft. That's <laughs> like miniature version of the melee gods. Okay. <gasps> they were butchering these elephants. How else do you think they got the elephant leather? I don't know. I didn't think that far. Uh, bring all the pemmican. Man, that's a lot of pemmican. Okay, raid completed. Just really happy to be alive. I guess so. Yeah, exactly. The TV generally has a red light when it's off. Yeah, a lot of them, unless you go into the settings. I kind of hate that. That's one of the first things I do with monitors. Is I go into the settings and I turn those extra lights off, like... My current monitor, I have no lights on the bottom of it at all that are on, but it has like, it has like these gamer modes or whatever, where there there's two lights, one on each side that will change colors while you're playing. I was like, I don't want that distraction. I, I do see quite often people that have, my wife is this way, actually. She has this in her, in her room down there where they have like all the multicolored lights like behind their monitor and on the walls glowing and going everywhere. And it's just like, I don't want that distraction out of the corner of my eye. Like, gamer mode. She likes it though, so I, don't, I mean, whatever she likes, but. 
thought you were a gamer, but I was wrong. Wrong. Keyboard isn't cycling through the RGB spectrum? Hmm. Bright colors, like magpies. <laughs> Backlights, a seizure simulator. <laughs> yeah. It's a living yeah, in that prison. I can actually help you with this from this menu. We cannot fill this prescription this time. Yeah, lots of automated things for sure. All right, how are these guys doing on getting changed over here? So Badger is almost done. Nose, not even close. Not even close. Uh, Genie 1. Jeans are going to get ripped out in nine more hours. I'm on Deadcon. Camera mode costs a couple more cents per... Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I should be pulling out enough, right? Turn this back on. You ready for the first dance lesson? Gotta get a dance together with your daughter for her enseñera this year. And it's crazy. Why are these kids growing up so fast, Tet? You got cats in the cradle playing in the back of your head as well? Or are you on the other side of it like, God, hurry up. They grow up too quick. Yeah, it's crazy. A granny quote. It's like my granny used to say. I need leather. We just got a bunch of elephant leather, Granny. Yeah, it is crazy. Crazy, crazy. Hey, wait. That might have been a good thing. Run up fast. Run up fast. Leather quest this run is scary. Inversion. All right, Badger. It's your unlucky day. Or maybe lucky. I don't know. It's probably better than this, honestly. Yeah, it, it's better than this. Uh, let's go ahead and... Well, I don't know if it's your lucky day or not, actually. We're about to remove your tongue. You know what? Let's do the brain part first. Install mind screw. Then remove your tongue. Let's see if you live through this without any kind of brain damage. And then we'll go from there. Oh no, my tainted clothing is on fire. Why? Why, God, why? Rave mode. I do like some of the when some of the games have the keyboard that reacts. Keyboard likes to react to the game. That's kind of nice. Thing on the game. But aside from that, I usually don't don't have a lot of RGB stuff going anymore. I guess both of my towers have quite a bit of it though. That's all right. You guys can't see. That's fine. Don't worry about it. No one lives in those rooms anymore, huh? Uh, so after the next tribute collector, if they ever show up, we should be good. Uh, that's like the goal today is to get other one to count us. But sure is taking her time. All right, Genie. Any clothes? Give a slave. Uh, we <laughs> creating them? No, I haven't created them. We have made them wear tainted clothing, but I haven't created them. That's interesting. Get a prisoner, recruit them, have them put on cataphract gear, kill them, and then give that gear to the slaves. <laughs> yeah. That's an interesting. That's interesting. Might be a little bit too min-max for what I want to do or too time-consuming. I might be too lazy to do it, but... Come on! Maybe he knows. He's like... If they get the right... Like, he can determine which gene he's giving us. If they get the right gene, they don't need me anymore. That's why he's optimistic. They need me as long as I don't give them the dead calm gene.
You just lost one. I don't know why. Uh, so for some, let me see if I can fix this. There we go. I think that extended the YouTube chat. So do pawns get less loving or benefit from loving without a tongue? <laughs> God. So my first response to that, of course, is to laugh and say, no, I don't think so. The tongue does missing tongue does impact the ability to socialize. So they would absolutely get less chats and less deep chats. So I don't think it would impact loving specifically, <laughs> but it would make it so that uh, they are more likely to break up because they're not going to talk as much. So. Come on, genie. Elongated fingers again? Are we collecting? Talk, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, where's the other genie? I'm about to just rip them again if you die in the process. You know, I, I can't, I can't let us succumb to that. All right, genie two, another day. Collecting fingers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's going to decrease opinion. It's going to decrease social. It's going to They're not going to be able to chat or deep chat anymore. So the actual, like, they're not going to get less mood buff from loving. Yeah. Hey, look, mind screw, no tongue. Nice. Uh, all right. Let's leave. Problems in your no kill box run. Have assault rifles, leather, armor, and mortars. All useful factions are allied. Are there some useful luxury items that count as well that can defend itself? Uh, if you're doing a no kill box run and outside of like better armor, so better weapons, better armor, and like you said, mortars and stuff like that, you can start thinking about things that are going to help you in combat in other ways. So it isn't just about literal defense of yourself, right? It could be having your people have better mood so that they can fight longer without breakdowns while fighting, especially if you're doing the no kill box where you pop out of the walls and shoot and do that. You're gonna be fighting for a long time. So it could, you could eventually be to the point where uh, efficient wealth, if you're still concerned about it, if you're not to the point where like wealth doesn't matter anymore, that you could get their mood up by making the barracks or rooms more impressive because they're just gonna have a bigger mood increase. You could have, uh, Start making more comfortable beds, get rid of their old ones so they sleep less and so they're more well rested, so they have the comfort buff. Same thing with like chairs and things like that. You could start putting uh, places that they're popping out from. You could start making those a little bit more impressive for when you need to go over there. So putting some flooring down there, putting statues down there. I'll do that in the late game quite a bit. Uh, changing those outer doors over to uh, auto doors can help a lot because you can go out and, and kill and get back in sooner. But it isn't necessarily only about literal defending itself it's what allows your pawns to defend themselves longer without breakdowns without problems and that can be things like drugs as well right so making drugs even though it's going to up your wealth even if you're concerned about wealth that can be part of it but yeah there's not much aside from better weapons better armor and making sure you have um utilities like mortars emp shells smoke launcher for uh for mech clusters and stuff like that that like i said just directly help with those things you gotta start at that point start thinking of the indirect things and a lot of it is how long can i have people out especially if you have to kite how long can i have people out fighting without them breaking down so i think i would say things that add towards that unless you're at the point where wealth just doesn't matter anymore horde of boom rats it's so interestingly enough, having a couple small animals can be really, really good because pirates will just shoot their rockets at them. When raiders come, do you quickly equip? Cotton? No, no. It's way too slow to put on combat armor. I just leave them in it. Come on, that causes a list of items. It's not a mod. Uh, look at the icons in the bottom right of your screen. There's one called categorize mode. That is just vanilla. So check out all the buttons in the bottom right of your screen. There's some really uh, important and handy buttons down there to use. 
and they're not mod. Oh my god. I I knew this was gonna happen. Never fails. Quest failed. Yeah, well, it's uh it's definitely my fault. Oh well. Not gonna get that twelve honor. Maybe next time. Auto doors next. Yeah, auto doors actually are very good for the no kill box playstyle. Being able to pop out and, and kill the raids. I'm thinking I'll do another no kill box on the next playthrough. It's been a little while since I did one. I've literally never noticed that. Yeah, yeah, no worries. So, another one that I really hate is that expanding the home zone is on by default. I always turn that off. Because otherwise, you put down like this, and suddenly people are scheduled to come out here and clean up. No kill box revolvers. We were talking about a cowboy run. I don't know, maybe. Cowboy good guys with no kill box. That seems pretty pretty rough, but I think it's doable. Revolvers only. I don't know. That would be kind of crazy. If I was going to do that. Maybe I would do vanilla as well. I don't know. We might need to min-max that one. We'll, we'll, I'll think about it. But the cowboy run. <laughs> Yo, ranchers. No kill box ranchers. Maybe. Mount of combat. I was going bat badger. Badger. Let's go on. Sleepy, welcome in. Uh, if you have the component, yeah, if you have the components and you have the power, auto doors are just better. Yeah, might as well use them everywhere. But I would start in high traffic areas or just any area you need to get in and out of faster, right? So, uh, cowboy hats aren't a mod either. Yeah, that's base game. <laughs> yeah, cowboy hats. One of the first hats added in RimWorld, actually. Mm -hmm. I already did an all pacifist run, yeah. And the only way we defended were sidecast animals. Yeah, that's already up on YouTube. I already did that one. Got them listed. Cowboy hats are vanilla. Yep. Whoa. All right, badger. Uh, you got your mind screw, tongue, shake it out. Let's go ahead and install the xenogerm. The woman needs to rest now. The only one colonists need to rescue. Yeah, yeah, we're working on it. Uh, EQ, you take them. All right, Genie 2, is it almost time? It is time. Wrong thing. You need to, you need to. More spawning. Oh man, what if, uh, yeah, I don't know. Rough. Yeah, cowboy hats are, are vanilla. That, what, I think the first guide I ever made was a clothing guide. And, uh, so the channel was pretty new and I was trying to get people to, to leave extra comments and stuff. And so at the end of it, I was like, let me know what your favorite outfit for your pawns are. Mine are Devil Strand Cowboy Hats and Dusters. <laughs> the clothing tab has gotten crazy with all the DLCs. Like every time I play vanilla, which we do a f at least a few times a month, and I open this, it's so it's so nice. But then you, every DLC adds so many more clothing. Opening this with vanilla, you got like it's it's like this. You got like six six to eight things or something. Maybe like eight things. Never find pants with all the DLCs on you. All right. Uh, detoxify long left, detoxify long right. Start with finding pants also. Yeah. And we have a lot of food. We're not even making much out of that anymore either. What is this one? Oh, 
we ever used that. Apparently not. Okay, genie. Dead calm. Wish you could hide things in the list. Yeah, that would be nice. If it was kind of like what they've done over here where there's a button for each of the DLCs. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, there, uh, there's, there's poppers and like, oh, you know what? We don't have a popper in the new room. There's poppers everywhere else. Dead calm, come on. You'll save us so much time if we get dead calm. Long fingers? No, <laughs> I'm not collecting fingers. I mean, if it's combined, if it's a pack, uh, it's fine, whatever. Extra pain and no hair. Seven days. Run for errands. Leave me here open. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Be safe. Oh yeah, we didn't put a popper up in this new room either. New room either. All prisoners that hurt more. <laughs> no. Ugh. All right. We're fully death rested. How long until these reset? Okay, out on the road with me again. Looking for a specific gene pack. On the road again. I don't want to go on the road again. That's not how the song goes at all. I don't want to. Bulk goods. Why aren't you exotic goods? We need an exotic goods ship. Go and see about because the run's been going. Yeah, it's been going just fine today. Move sub goals like 15 pixels to the left. The same caravan button. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not too high on the priority. I've never noticed that because obviously it's on, it's on the overlay, so I don't see it, of course, but. What are these? Oh, right, right, right. They still need legs. Sonic leg left, Solvonic leg right. Okay, so we have a new... Overall, it's in a while. H... HPLC. All right, welcome in. Welcome in. What are you going to do? You're going to haul and clean. I don't like that you have burning passion in crafting. You better not get too happy. Better not get too happy, HPLC. Probably won't. Probably won't. Uh, probably HP Lovecraft. Yeah, that would make sense. HPLC. Pain is useful. It's like to outright die when you punch them. Well, I mean, right now they don't have legs, so it doesn't really matter, right? So, um, but no, I don't, Wimp doesn't change the death on downed chance. It just changes how much damage it takes to down them, I think. But we really want dead calm. That's Gene Bank needs power. Yeah, you don't say. I can soothe. No. Dead Calm would allow us to add all their legs back, and then we don't have to have people going in there manually feeding them. Genie 2 is hiding in their prison cell. Oh no, with everyone else. Oh no, Genie 2. Hopefully no one sees you hiding in here. I 
Brax, how come you have legs? Oh, you're one of the people we're going to give to the Empire. That's it. Clothing privileges gone. Gone. But it was just one guy. Yeah, he's ruined it for all of you. Clothing privileges gone. Not fair. Who farted? <laughs> the genie just keeps falling over because of the... <laughs> He's fell fallen over four times. Five. Uh just kept getting up and immediately falling back over. No, I'm good now. I think I'm alright. He was wrong again. I should be added to the prison. Too real, too real. Hey, kid? Nope. Not, not even you, not even you, kid. What? <laughs> he just keeps putting him back on. <laughs> oh man! He literally go in there and take take his clothes off, and as soon as the person turns around, he immediately puts him back on. Andrew, why did your mood get high enough? Probably this friggin' crafting again, isn't it? No, it's the Psychic Sooth. Ugh. Oh, wait. He's going to get Catharsis. Uh, beat him up. But not too much. Come on. Uh, not here. No, no, no. Kill him. Dude, people in this tribe of lobotomies aren't in the game. Yeah, I mean, I guess like a joy wire kind of is that, right? You go, but it's a device. You go in, you change the brain, and they're happier, but they're, they lose a lot of consciousness. There's a lot of their function. It's a uh, manhunter. It's all right. Crap. Where do you guys go? Yeah, that would do it. All right, no one's outside, right? No. All right, what is it? What do we got? Bears. 49 bears. His mining's death rest. Uh, EQ, death rest. I'm almost at the trading spot. Mm -hmm. Make sure we open that back up when the bears are done. Uh, okay. Jay, thank you for the seven months. Seven months already. Thank you, Jay. Much appreciated. I I don't know. Yeah, and I I looks like they might have changed that, or I might have missed them before. But I we actually hit some of the EMP earlier, and they didn't fall over. So not for that reason, but did do it. Let's wear that armor. Uh, I mean, yeah, we probably... It's probably actually fine now, but I think I did forget to set them. There we go. You're already taking that off. Yeah, all right. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
All right, almost to the trade. Chaos Lobster, 23 months. Thank you, Chaos Lobster. An anonymous thing for the gift sub. Two monkey with a three. Two threes, actually. Some people would say 33, not me. Uh, thank you, anonymous. <laughs> Genie 3 is gone catatonic. Oh, no. 5.8 days. Okay. Thought is that go on mental breaks. Um. Yeah. Yeah, you can blood feed. As long as they have enough blood. Yep. So, I guess you could blood feed enough to down them. Don't kill them. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe you can make them have enough blood loss so they down during the... I try that. I try that. On a sleeve. Come on, Deadcom. Quick study and super clotting. We've seen super clotting so much, and it is one of the absolute best genes, but we just don't need it this run. Watch us try to find it next run. Just... It'll be non-existent. Yeah, I I can't I can't remember either. Is it? It might have been. Yeah. Blood feeding on broken ponds. It might get patched. Yeah. This is the first single phase based run I have done since like biotech was new. So doesn't surprise me. Idle nathead. Have next run planned out. I'm not 100%. We have Rimming Ship coming up. I'm going to do uh, the Rimming Ship monthly. I'm also going to do the Rimming Community Challenge. But as far as like run outside of those, I'm not 100% yet. I was telling people that we maybe should redo the Good Guy run. It's been a couple years and we didn't actually finish it anyway. And it would be a good palate cleanser after this run, you know. Um, But I'm not 100% yet. I don't have any genes there at all. Look on it, probably not. Probably not. But yeah, we were just talking about earlier doing like good guy cowboys. No kill box and uh like revolvers only or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure yet. Store some karma, yeah, even things out. How do you keep your base so clean? So on a typical run, what I will do is I'll have literally everyone on hauling and cleaning, and then I'll have a couple of people that that's their priority. But yeah, typ typically I will leave everyone on hauling and cleaning and I might alter if they're on three or two. And then if it gets really bad and need something done really quickly before you get a lot of pawns, I will just shift click. So if you shift click up here, Shift left click increases it by one. Shift right click increases it by one for the entire column. So if you need like, I'll say you have a bunch of corn that's about to rot and you don't want to do any kind of exploitive stuff to get it in. And you need everyone to start hauling. You can just hold shift left click on haul. It'll take everyone to a one and they'll all run out and do the hauling. You can use little tactics like that, but I typically just put everyone, literally everyone, if you have nothing else to do, clean or haul. And then I'll have a couple people that are that's their priority regardless. You did a no contact run, low threat. As soon as your raid happened, you can only watch. Everyone had to just fight for walking. Yeah, people have mentioned that too. It would just come, for me, it would just come down to me zoning people a lot. I could probably do it, but it would just be tedious. Some people are also like, you should do a run sometime where you're not allowed to control a pawn ever individually, but it would just, it would just come down to watching me switch people in zones. I have like 25 different zones and just switching people between zones for hours. So definitely think it's doable, but it would just be, be tedious. And I don't know that it'd be super interesting to watch either. Man, that psychic suit needs to go away. I'm going to draft you there and forget about you. Okay. So as the good guy run, you save so many children. Yeah, the, so I know the, that brings up a point, though. The good guy run was before biotech as well. 
there weren't children oh my god we'd have to we'd have to raise so many children in a good guy run oh everyone attack a tribal base stay there forever yeah yeah settling on a combat tile is always uh always interesting uh combat tiles calculate raid points differently as well kind of weird so you can actually have pretty small raids on there forever if you really wanted or you have really big raids if you want to i mean ship run max wealth in 11 hours but with all dlc no pause mod burn box etc just to see what we could get to that would be kind of interesting yeah see how much we could actually push wealth that would be pretty insane i think a min max 11 hour wealth run where i'm allowed to use any dlc stuff any exploits but not use like extra mods to help with it and we can get millions for sure many millions raids get bigger they can but you can also prevent it the, re the reason i know this is we were speaking of rimmanship Smurf and I were looking into uh, strategies that people aren't using for Remanship. And one of them that we were thinking of was having a second group settle a combat tile in order to get extra small raids there all the time. But the force slowdown for, from it in Remanship ends up not really being super worth. Thane's strategy for taking out Siege's early game before snipers or mortar. Okay, so... There's a couple things you can do depending on your difficulty. One, you can... Sieges take a certain number of raid points before they can spawn. So you can literally just keep really low in raid points until you get something to deal with sieges. But the second thing is, sieges, every time you deal any damage to them at all, they have a 10% chance to come attack you. 10% chance to come as a normal raid if you deal any damage at all. So if you are playing something like Tribal early game and you, have n you, you haven't really gotten any of that kind of stuff, I would suggest really making a couple of um of great bows great bows have a lot of range and you can do a trick where well like first off you're just trying to damage them out of range of the great bows and then run back to your base but there is kind of a trick you can do that they will repair anything you damage structure wise so a lot of times there's an angle you can get where you can actually attack the sandbag and then someone will run over to uh to repair the sandbag and then you can shoot at them instead but it's all about trying to pull them to, to your base. So you can either stay in low wealth until you get some way to pull them. Bolt action is even better. But even just a great bow will work. So a great bow, bow bolt action before you get mortars is fine to pull to the base. Smurf and I have talked to each other that uh, if there's no DLC announced this this month, he and I might do a multiplayer remianship run where we both play with all the remanship rules, but we're playing the multiplayer mod and see if we can get some kind of absurd wealth number. Another devil summon. All right, let's see what they say. What's considered low wealth? So for me, if I'm, I don't really do it so much anymore, but if I'm doing a 500% run where I'm trying to stay super low wealth, I try to get to mortar research before I get to about 20,000 wealth. That's kind of my break point at 500%. So if you're playing on normal losing is fun, maybe try to get mortar research done if you want to play that way by like 40 or 50,000 wealth and you'll probably be able to be fine. Like you can technically get a siege early that only has two enemies, but you should be fine with two enemies, you know, even if you have to go out and literally melee them. Yeah, so just, you know, only plan enough to keep your people fed and then just Rush out your research and either get Great Bow, Bolt Action, or Mortar is one of those three. So the wealth thing can depend on how many pawns you have too. So for instance, even on 500%, if you only have one pawn, you're going to have way less raid points with 40,000 wealth. But if you have five pawns at 20,000, that's actually going to be like more raid points. So pawns add a lot of raid points. Fast healing! God, we're getting all these great options, but not what we want. <sighs> mm. 
All right, bears are starting to leave. Let's open that up. No start, and so far, raids have been very manageable. Yeah, it's crazy how much smaller raids are as a solo pawn. As soon as you get a second pawn, raids increase by a substantial amount. Don't know when to call him the Diabolus. Uh, you can do it pretty cheesy if you want. Like the first Diabolus call in, you can actually just do it with traps. If you're on a map with a lot of wood, you can just make a trap tunnel. I remember right, it's like somewhere between 20 and 30 traps and it'll just literally kill the entire first Diabolus raid if you just are desperate to get that next chip. You can call this too fast. You have seven and two prisoners, so you gotta siege four mortars. Yeah. Yep. So trying to pull them to you would be what I would suggest with that. Now, there is an all sniper siege, but that one you generally don't get until higher points. I'm gonna Twitch to see how far blows you away. How's it going, Spork? I don't know why Twitch is now put an auto mod on blows me away. Well, I understand why, but it's kind of crazy. Yeah, but I can see it, yeah. Yeah, the progress is crazy, especially after you see all the setbacks we had. Super fast wound healing, fire spew. Maybe I'll just get really good at art. All right, one more chance. It takes my breath away. You had a hybrid baby, a human with a tail. Did you get the roar voice as well? Do the roar. Do the roar. <laughs> all, of our, all of our slaves have the roar voice. The roar. Your name is immortal. Big noses, yeah. <laughs> Are you scared that uh, I'll get straight once? Ah, it'll be okay. I should do some more of this, though. Yeah, it'll be fine. I just don't want to have to heat them separately during cold events, but. Come on, pigs. Dead calm. Come on. How come the Empire hasn't showed up either? Sleepy. Animal War Call Furry Tail. Yep. Yeah, just no, no luck with that gene. We've done so many extractions and... I mean, I can go up here again. Long trip. We still got food. Yeah, we still got food. We got raw food. All right. Weird stuff that pops up on automod makes no sense sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I under I understand why that phrase gets automated, but it's it is kind of crazy. I guess the system can't tell the difference of someone saying that one way, not the other. One colonist for eight days. Oh, I really don't want to do that. Can I give you a slave. Be sleepy, less food. They are already, uh, we already have genes to get all the way to the lowest food that they can eat, but we really want dead calm so they can feed themselves. But yeah, we already have gene packs to get them to fifty percent metabolism or whatever food food need. 
It's only three on her. Where are these tribute collectors? Sander really doesn't want the run to end tomorrow. No. I'll be lonely. I know your next five runs will be against Randy. Don't leave me. Might be right. Might be right, Cassandra. It's gonna be a long trip. Be ready to scan another genie. You know, we can do these events and hope a genie shows up as well, but... It's pretty unlikely. God, you guys are so bad at mining. So with that extra shooter, we can probably open this up. Gotta remember to split people over there if we do that. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll wait till I get back, I guess. Time to watch more of the run. Yeah, we're pretty late game now. We can do the end event at any time. Like, I think we're strong enough to do it, but... I mean, if it keeps going where we're just kind of treading water, maybe we'll just go with one royal. It doesn't change the ending anyway. We were going to go with at least a royal couple for the... like, thematic ending, so to say, but... It's not like... It doesn't really change anything other than the story of the run. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll keep trying right now. Hey, you guys got jeans? No? Then leave me alone. Scan silver. Um, we have the research benches on. Is there anything else that I wanted to research? Search for the bestest genes continues. That's right. It's interesting that it's like a really not a good gene, right? I don't know. I guess dead calm is kind of a, a good gene. Can't tie if the words you think aren't the words that are appearing on screen. That's all good. I know what you meant. Genes. All right, detoxify your lungs. Who's left? You. Okay. How close are we? We'll hit that. Day and a half. Day and a half. Hmm. I gotta check when the ruin ship thing is. Can't remember if it's this coming Saturday or the next one. I'm trying to think it's actually two Saturdays from now. Don't know. Having really looked at it, uh some people have mentioned some things on Discord, so I know it's a single pawn start. It's a desert. It's double research speed. And for whatever reason they've made it so you can't make shelves which seems seems like an odd choice to me for many reasons like they just have removed that quality of life portion for some reason i don't know don't know why uh and it looks like burn boxes are allowed again so they did that one that one month where burn or boxes were off as a test, maybe, but they're back. Maybe it's to force a larger, less defensible base. Maybe, but I already know what it, what I'm gonna do. <laughs> like, I already know what I'm gonna do. Uh, we don't have anything left in here, right? Harder for well storage. So 
there's something that's allowed that I'll probably do. You can actually just store everything in transport pods. And it's more efficient than shelves. So you can just store... You know, I uh, we don't have a lot of human leather left, but let's, let's say... I'm going to store all this in there. Like, look how much more you can store in a single tile. Way more efficient than shelves. And with double research, you can get to these in, in no time. So, this will be more space efficient. You just make transport pods, just fill them with your, your stuff. I don't know. I, I, I'll probably do that. But I don't know if that's outside the spirit of the month or what. New rule, no transport pods? Yeah. <laughs> no caravan animals. Shell's more of an issue than burn box confirmed. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, yes. Going up through the Baron's chat again. It's like 5,000 human leather in one transport pod. Yeah. Crazy. But can't you destroy the pod launcher after the fact? And then you lose a little bit of the material and then just make another one? I think you can do that. I think I remember doing that a long time ago. Can you launch transport pods, fill chunks to your own map? Yes, yeah, you can. I'm guessing you can still buy shelves from traders too. Trader traders sometimes will sell shelves, which is odd, but yeah, I probably won't try. I probably won't try to circumvent it. Honestly, they probably set it up specifically to see what people would do, having huge, having to have huge storage areas. You know, how are you happy? Night Owl at night. Oh, no. You have the no sleep gene. I can't do anything about that. <laughs> Crap. I wasn't thinking about that. I'm so happy I'm up during the night. Yeah, but while well, you're up during the everything. You're up during the everything. Voice back transfer pods, uh, they'll they'll pop in there. You can put them in there and, and dump them, but it won't keep them from spoiling. A long time ago, you could actually keep things from spoiling in there. I remember doing 1.0 storing meat in transport pods, but now things in there can rot, deteriorate. I wonder if you freeze it though. I've not tried that. You had a, like you had this and you fill that up and then you roof it and freeze it. Would it? Yeah, I don't know. But mine screw, they have a mine screw and their tongues removed, but they're just so happy about being up at night. <laughs> Serious pain, jealous of someone else's bedroom, missing a tongue, tattered apparel, genetic pessimism. Look at all this crap. Uh, oh, you can put on tainted gear. That'll help. Not sure. I think you can still build it over it, right? They just can't launch after you build it over it. Uh, Will, thank you for the four months. Thank you, Will. You've had the deteriorates in pods on a really cold map. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That's kind of what I figured, I guess I should say. You will? Four months already. Oh my god, I'm not even to the road to the Barrens. Here because fiance loves. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I remember you mentioned that before. Uh, well, whatever the reason, I appreciate it. <laughs> you could read that in a lot of different ways, though. Like begrudgingly. Yeah, whatever. I don't want to be here. My fiance likes it, though, so I got to be on board with it. No, I, I don't take it that way. <laughs> you can give mixed vibes, yeah. yeah. It's always hard to read intent and sarcasm and stuff and messages. I, us I usually err on the side of not meaning anything negative by my stuff.
I mean, <laughs> I don't know that I want to go that far away. Hey, this is already back up. How far up here is this? Another day? Another day, another dollar. No, let's go down here. Going dingo. Yeah, I doubt that. More question if mod wife knows. Trying to use the Kappa for sarcasm, yeah. And then you sometimes get people, I've had that before. Um, it used to happen more when the stream was smaller, where people will come in and they're brand new to the channel, or at least the first time they've ever typed, so I can, I can see that's their first message ever. And they try to joke around with you like they're your best friend from, from elementary school. You know, like you would make fun of your best friend back and forth and things like that. And then you're like, the crap, what, why did you say that? And they're like, hey man, I'm just joking. I thought we were friends. And I'm like... You literally just came in for the first time. <laughs> Slash S, yeah, for sarcasm. Or the Kappa. But. Cinnamon. Even the two months. Thank you, Cinnamon. Appreciate it. Buy me a drink before you make fun of me. No. Adam, are we best friends? Well, you've been here forever. Rom nom. So I think you're uh I think you're good. I don't think I'm gonna take what you say the wrong way. Ten hours. It can be weird when one persistent doesn't know. Yeah. It can be a long time lurker. Yeah, yeah, but it's just one of those like read the room sort of things. I don't know. <laughs> How much do you have, best friend? Can I be bought? <laughs> You've learned to stop showing up. Yes. Yeah. So if you want to have a better chance at getting the other tech prints offered to you uh, by traders, you want to use use up other ones. So that's one reason why I should have used the jump packs. Now, you still can find some, especially in Ancient Dangers, because Ancient Dangers are preceded with what they have in there. So it doesn't work for that. But for traders, it, it works. The bot was just working, what? The Twitch, uh... Let me see if I'll just log in my account really quick. Nope. So, the Twitch authorization code on the bot has to be updated, like, every 45 days, and apparently it literally just went down, so I have to generate another token which requires me to log in and use my two-factor stuff. So I guess the bot is just going to be down for the last couple hours of stream. Unfortunately. They know it can say anything. Be all good. <laughs> That's right. Anything. Friends walls. Sometimes. Sometimes. Come on, pigs. Maybe if you stop calling them pigs, they're pig skin. That's, that's literally the name of them. I don't know who I'm arguing with. <laughs> Jimbo. Uh, no bugs. Why do I have this door held open? I don't know. They they picked such weird targets. Like what? Seems super random. Like, we're free. Go attack the chair at the tailoring station. Two random shelves. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Let's shut those back. Are bugs and friendly fire on? Oh God. 
Okay, that's not friendly fire. Heavy word for a second, but yes. <laughs> Inside information that the next DLC soon had bug friends. Yeah, so I got to be careful joking about that. But yeah, uh, later this month, they might be delayed a little bit. They're going to announce RimWorld Archaeology. Uh, it'll be the next expansion after Biotech. And uh, yeah, it's going to expand on the world a bit. We're going to have uh, a background with uh, friendly bug type stuff. Yeah, it's going to be great. going to coincide with a free patch update with uh, multiplayer also. Yeah, Rimworld Archaeology. I know nothing. I know nothing. <laughs> know nothing. No jeans, you friggin' pigs. Skin. Wah. I'm about to just give up on this. Last time I uh, joked about that, though, someone came in right as I finished it, and they're like, what? Are you serious? No, no, no. Getting yourself in trouble. Yeah, if if it ends up being that, I will never be able to tell people that I don't know something about Rimworld again, which I, I don't know anything about a coming DLC or whatever, but if it ended up being true somehow, by some coincidence, I would never live it down. I'm building in a mountain, never tried, and stations are annoying. Uh, mountains have, the only downside of building in a mountain really these days is, are insects, and insects have been nerfed so much, they're not a big deal. They're more of, like you said, an annoyance than a actual, like, thing you have to overcome. So, in my opinion, building under mountain is still extremely, extremely strong. As long as you know how to melee block and kill infestations, and you build with that in mind. Should be good. Much safer than it used to be. And then you don't have to worry about so many different events, right? You don't even have to worry about sieges, auto mortars, uh, toxic fallout, volcanic winter. There's just so much. In a normal mountain map, like, even breachers are going to come through the same area that your normal raids come through, depending on how you have the mountain set up or how much you've dug into it, I guess. But in general, just they're much safer. Genie should be coming up on Genes, yeah, here any minute. I'm going to make sure I put this in so I don't forget. Genie 3. Yeah, all right. Genie 3 is ready. We need a mountain base for this one uh, for the theme of the run. They actually, yeah, they can do that from the door. Okay. All right, double shotgun finally set up. Maybe I'm supposed to not look at the gene extraction. That must be it. Yeah. We also have to do uh, the reverse psychology. All right. So that works that one time. So, yeah, we really want that great crafting gene. And God, let's hope we don't get dead calm. I'm sure, that'll work. All right. The plan is has been set in motion. Let's see what happens. Gene engineer, yeah, the slaves have already been gene engineered oh, quite, quite a bit. They're they're good. We're now trying to gene engineer all of our prisoners so they never escape and they can feed themselves. Right now, unfortunately, yeah, like eighteen prisoners and they don't have legs, so they can't feed themselves. So it's taking a lot of our work time just feeding them. But if we get dead calm, they will not need fed because they'll never break out of prison anyway. They can have legs again, I guess I should say. All right, the double shotgun tunnel is good. The Warhammer streams are for wagers. We do a lot of wagers in the Warhammer streams, yeah. Not as many you can really do in... Uh, or with RimWorld, yeah. 
Actually, really looking forward to continuing that Cathay playthrough. We're about to hit the more interesting part of it. We we'll just hit turn 30. Shotgun tunnel where only assault rifles are being used. That's right. That's right. I just still call it that because that's what I originally called it when I when I first started using it. Because we were using chain shotguns back then. Wow, those are some hungry donkeys. Hungry, hungry donkey. All right. Uh, what do we get? I didn't see. <sighs> Great intellect, elongated fingers. What was this one? Extra pain, no hair, right? Ugh. Yep. I'll fill up a crap. When you get a tunnel, we used that in the door front. That was a lot of fun. You take it out in base every time you say you're going to. You don't fear of the bugs. Just, uh, if you make a mountain base, just have one of your starting pawns be tough, or at least, like, two of them. That would be ideal. And just make sure you set up three wide melee blocks by every single door. Have choke points like that around. You should be pretty, pretty good. Yeah, they nerfed bugs in 1.4, so you get half of the, the amount of hives that you would have gotten before 1.4. So have a couple tough melee blockers, and you should be pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I prefer three for just the melee and guns. If you want to use grenades, which again isn't really as needed anymore now there's less hives. I'm gonna use grenades and you'll want to use a five wide instead, but uh how grown are these? I set a few of these to cotton. Hmm. All right, when's the next uh, genie up? Genie one. Seven days. Okay. Well, I mean, when when is the last time we had a tribute collector? I don't understand. It seems like I'm getting so few in this run. Do they come less because of the pollution? I mean, our map's not even that polluted anymore, right? 13%. We have the Stellark Room done. We have the Throne done. We're going to need more Thrones, though, right? At some point. Uh, we're going to need these. I guess I can go ahead and build these. Even if we turn them off. For now. Where's my wealth at? Um... 500,000. We are... We've been raid cap for a long time. Raids are as big as they can get at the moment. But... Yeah, just... Been waiting on the... Tribute Collector. Insulting 3 on Genie 1. Okay, well. Don't go in there until they're done. There's a 10-year-old kid running in there. Running around prison insulting everyone. Bolt goods... Haven't seen a exotic goods in a while either. Bolt doesn't have the jeans. Want to buy some cats? No. I'm good on cats, thanks. Uh, guess we might as well buy their components while they're here. We have twenty lungs. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get rid of a few of those. Yeah, let's take the cats. I could replace the donkeys with horses. Horses are better overall. That would speed up our caravans a little bit.
Breeding pair of horses. All right, let's grab them. I'm not going to get rid of all the donkeys right now because I want to make sure we actually get some foals out of this first. Like I said, we could do these and see if we get a genie join. Would someone beat this kid up? They won't because they're all also genies. <laughs> Wait, he's not. Hey, Immortal. Punch this little genie kid. Insulted times five. Price of belief. Oh, no. Yeah, I guess let's do these and, and see what if we, if we get it. Might as well. Hopefully we get a genie to extract some more genes from. Genes from the genies. All right, time for our blade rave. It's been a while. Not being one of the times insulting spree would be really good. Well, if they targeted only slaves, it would be nice. What point generally do you experience slowdown in the game? Call us count. It's hard to tell from streaming recording. Game plays like from your ends. Um, I would say on a 275 map, it starts to get really noticeable around. 40 pawns, but it's still pretty playable, especially if I'm only doing one and two X. This is outside of raids. Uh, raids can still slow down a bit. But yeah, I would say around mid to late 40s. Now, if I'm doing ruminship stuff where I'm pushing wealth, I'm harvesting like 60,000 corn or something. It, that's a whole different story. But on like a kind of more standard run that I stream on a 275 map, I would say... Yeah, around around 40 pawns. It's, it's at the point where I don't use 3x as much as 2x at that stage, especially during raids. But like right now, it's still running completely fine. We have a big raid. You know, 4x will slow down a little bit, but... All right. Come on, genies. Don't be children. Don't be children. Baseliner. Baseliner. And a child. Baseliner. Alright. Once upon a time, we would have taken that, that kid. We would have raised him as our own. But we've all grown up now, and we don't uh, we don't save people anymore. Now there be another great fire, mercy single door deconstruct. Um, the first door that would help overall would be this one, I guess. Actually, those are doubled as well. Yeah, there is no single door, but I don't think we have to worry about that. Any famous last words? We put nose in here. All right. Mm, we'll turn these off until we need them for the Empire. Don't want to fight. It hasn't been that long. I mean, we're against Cassandra, so. She just rolled a single event instead of two, so. It, it, we should have another one pretty soon. Around since college, you can't use during a specialized playthrough. The game is sentient. We know this. All right, let's try this one. The dev tool quick test function. Are you talking about the one that just runs the game as fast as it possibly can? Yeah, that, that would not. I mean, yeah, the one that just when you when you hit the four key, it just literally runs the game as fast as possible. And yeah, that that I don't think it would be possible. All right, Rachel. It's pronounced Rochelle. No, it isn't. Be 
Base liner. Base liner. I'm naming these so it'll be really easy to go down the list and give them over to the Empire. But... We haven't seen the Empire in forever. We haven't accidentally angered them, right? No, they're just neutral. We could ally them. That would actually be a pretty good thing to do. We have a lot of extra leather anyway. Anyway, we're not doing anything with. Um, Let's see what, like 2,500. We don't even need both of these. Just... What is the max? Yeah, it's 5,000. We were talking about that earlier. Be a blood ritual or blood feeding to death ritual. That'd be kind of interesting. Kind of like how tumblers have the festival reward for uh, insect jelly coming out of the ground when they drum. Oh, <laughs> what is this? Sprinklers of blood turn on? Fills everyone's hemogen bars up. Give them tainted items. I've been giving the slaves tainted items, yeah, to make them more unhappy. Yep. Can't set up rules to specifically make them put on tainted stuff themselves, but you can force it on them. You know what? It doesn't matter. Leave that on. For the Met Cluster, feel like you had issues with that impacting traders. We've had lots of traders. It's just that, yeah, it's just the um, the tribute collector, and these have both been here while the tribute collectors have been here. So shouldn't be causing it. It's just bad luck, I guess. I think it's a sixty-five with them. Being on prisoners, even prisoner would die from it. Just time to decide to starve instead. How many packs needed for the blood sprinklers? Ten. <laughs> yeah, we have not seen them today. Have we played through a whole year today? I don't, I don't feel like we have. Close to it. I actually don't know what the date was when we first started. We'll switch that over to cotton. Price of belief. Another one. Wow, look at you, Immortal. Immortal's trying to take on any religion he can think of. Whatever will get him out of this prison. Their chance to occur a negative event in this ceremony is awful. <laughs> like the drums actually bring bugs up to fight, for instance. Yeah. Primate concept. Extracting packs more efficient. Screw efficiency. Genie one, five days, five days, Genie one. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's not really much to do other than just wait on the tribute collector. It It's kind of weird that they don't allow you to go turn things in like that at the settlements. If the person is already knight rank equivalent or higher, Feels like you should be able to turn turn in the slaves or whatever to an empire settlement for more honor. But no, you gotta wait. Oh uh, yeah, they are cleaning that. Oh, apparently some of the donkeys had a plague. What happened? You you did this. You asked about the donkey room. They immediately died. It's you. You know, I'm surprised they haven't made it so that if animals die of a disease like like the plague, that it also instarots like if they have scaria. It's interesting that a donkey can just die of the plague and you can immediately just go chop it up, meet its raw meat and be fine. It does its transfer over to humans. It's fine. 
Where are the videos? Uh, depends on what you mean. I'm guessing you're asking where are the edits. The edit will be here, but uh, the editor's working on it now. But ju just to be completely open with everyone, I talked about this the other day. I just did my uh, business taxes for last year. I lost $10,000 on the edits. They didn't break even. I'm in the whole $10,000 on the edits. I want to keep doing the edits. I like them. And I know that people like them and I plan on doing them, but they're going to be in a different capacity. And I can no longer afford to have two editors editing at the same time that I'm doing the series and putting them out daily. So edits are going to happen. The editor's already working on edits for this run, but they're not going to be out nearly as fast or anything like that or nearly as often. So that stuff will come uh, as far as other things like guides and stuff right now. Uh, unfortunately, I have too much IRL stuff, personal stuff going on outside of the stream. I have very much time to work on additional content like I do some months, but... So yes, edits will come. Until then, you can watch the VODs if you want, or, you know, just, just wait. But uh, that's just how it's got to be at the moment. I can't just, like, burn barrels of money. Can you do the help? There's... It really comes down to the YouTube algorithm. So YouTube algorithm is not great for long series. <clears throat> it's just really not. So the way that YouTube works is it doesn't know that things are a series, even if you put them in a playlist. So it doesn't necessarily, even if you've watched like the first 10 episodes of something, YouTube might still not show you episode 11. Might never show it to you. It's just not built to be, to like show series like that. And I've done everything I can as far as like playlists and multiple playlists and putting them in order and, you know, everything I can do. But the way that the YouTube algorithm works is videos in the same like niche, the same genre compete against each other, even kind of on the same channel. So if episode six of a run is doing well, but episode seven and eight of a run isn't and episode nine is doing better than those, it might literally just show a new person that's looking for RimWorld, episodes 6 and 9, and that person's not going to cl click on 6 or 9, right? If they're new to the channel. They're not going to... They're probably not going to go search for episode 1. And so they're not going to click it, and then YouTube is like, oh, well, people don't like these videos, so now we're going to show it to even less people. So it's just a matter of YouTube not being a platform that really supports linked series. If YouTube had some kind of feature where you could link a series, like a season of a TV show, like like Netflix or something, you know, or Netflix is going to offer you an entire season of a show rather than an episode of a show. That would probably solve the problem. But unfortunately, aside from like watching the content and, you know, hitting like on it, commenting, stuff like that to help with the algorithm, there's not too much people can do. Uh, it's just the way that, that YouTube's built. I mean, if I someday end up making like a fortune or something and can just burn wheelbarrows of money, then sure, we'll go back to an episode every single day because I would be able to afford it. But I did a year test with the edits and it put me $10,000 in the hole as far as that goes. So it this year we're going to test it in a different way and maybe it'll work out better. So the plan right now for anyone that's curious, I haven't really talked about it yet, but the editor is making an edited version of the entire playthrough and it's going to be a single video, but it's not going to be like condensed into 30 minutes. It's going to be a single video where the chapters are the episodes. And so it's going to be kind of the same as like, let's say the Mechanitor run, but instead of being 16 episodes that YouTube is having compete against each other, those 16 episodes are one video. And then each 30 minute episode is a chapter in the, vi in the video itself that you can come back to. And that way the YouTube algorithm isn't going to look at that as 16 competing videos. It's going to look at it as one video. So that's what we're going to test with the single phase edit. And the editor is working on that. They've been working on it for a couple weeks. And once I finish VODs, I hand it over to them and we're going to see how it does and we'll keep experimenting from there. But yeah, at the moment, it's just that YouTube isn't great at serial serialized content like that, honestly. Downloading videos helps a lot. Yeah, like all the stuff that you guys can do to help, like watching, downloading, etc. Is, is extremely helpful in all those ways, both from an algorithm standpoint and from a financial standpoint. But at the end of the day, there's only so much you can do about how... YouTube works unless you're like the CEO of, of YouTube or something, right? And if you are, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know. Reach out. My contact information is in the description. Applies to them as well. It doesn't even try to get you to the next episode. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My uncle is Mr. YouTube. 
Does downloading YouTube videos multiple times help? I think the spiffing Brit guy did a video about that and it did. So when you download a YouTube video with YouTube pr uh, premium, it immediately counts as 100% watch time. Even if you don't watch it and then you can delete it and download it again, it counts again. I don't know if that's still the case, but it was when he made the video about it. But downloading with YouTube premium does help the channel a lot still for sure. At least one download, yeah. More content has always been YouTube specialty, yeah. Yeah, like I said, we'll keep experimenting with it, but I, I just couldn't just, like I said, burn will barrels of money. And it's not even like, you might be thinking we'll get cheaper editors. I, I'm not going to pay someone pennies to do something like that. That takes a lot of hours of work. Like it really takes a lot of hours of work. I already feel like I wish I could pay them more. I don't want to tell you how much I pay them. So I think I pay them a relatively fair amount, but it's not like I'm like, oh, Adam, why, why are you paying so much per episode? It's actually less than I think I probably would like to pay a person to do all that. But anyway, I think you played movie format. Seems like those seem to do pretty well. Yeah, I'm not doing the 100 days bullcrap, but... But it's literally just going to be like having the edits as is, only it's all going to be in one video. That's with chapters instead. Uh, that's a breacher. That is... Impid breachers. Yeah, I don't mind uh, talking about that sort of behind the scenes stuff a little bit, especially because if I don't, obviously people don't know. I was going to make a video kind of going over that stuff earlier in the week, but then I got sick. And so I kind of missed out on, on making that, but hopefully I'll be able to make that this week so I can explain to more people. Why looks so, is that a... Uh, so, hey, Mr. Pay to Win, welcome back. So in 1.4, Mr. Pay to Win, they made it so that Every shelf tile can hold three items instead of one now. I actually never thought they would do that. Because they used to, the developers used to always talk about tile economy. And so they were like, one item, you know, or one stack, one item type per tile. But now with shelves, you can have three stacks of items per each one tile shelf. This isn't even a mod anymore. So. I survived scrolling for 100 days trying to find a video out there. It's not one of those 100-day 100, 100 crap things. Yeah. So now there's a one-by-one one shelf that's just part of the game. It's part of vanilla now. And it holds three items, and there's a one-by-two shelf that holds six six stacks of items. So Pretty crazy quality of life in change. I know a lot of people use uh, mods to make storage more storage area, but yeah, that's not even a mod. Not even a mod. Actually, I had a few down enemies. Probably unwavering for the most part. I like it with multiple streams. Kind of, kind of. So it's, it's basically like right now, let's say I went and took the 16 edited episodes of the Mechanitor run. And I put them all in the same video and removed all the, the parts in the middle that were, you know, uh, previously or whatever. And the ending stuff, you know, that stuff. I just crammed it all into one video. And then I re-released it as just a standalone. This is the edited Mechanitor run. Kind of like that, only with, without doing the individual videos to start with. Why don't I like the 100 days style? Uh, so... Partially, I'm just not a fan. And then secondary, um, just because it was asked, uh, one of the main people that popularized the it with, with RimWorld uh, st stole content from several people, including myself, and claimed they invented it. So I'm still... Probably shouldn't, but I still hold a little bit of grudge about that. So I've already blocked seeing that guy's recommendations on my, my YouTube channels. So... Usually when I see that, I don't know. I just don't really, I don't like it for other games either. I just don't really, really like the format, but it's personal preference as far as that goes. But as far as that one person, if I ever see any of their stuff, it's just immediately like, click, do not show me this again. 100 days of holding a grudge. 
It's completely fair to hold a grudge about that. Yeah, yeah. I try not to bring it up very much because last time I that I and again, it's usually brought up by someone else and I just answer a question. Last time I did that, someone was like, someone got upset that I replied, end up being a jerk about it. But I'm not going to talk about it any further than that. But a videos on YouTube. Thank you. I can you for watching. Uh, yeah, yeah. So Sal, if you have YouTube premium and this is goes for any channel. You have YouTube Premium, anything that you download, as soon as you download it, the creator gets 100% watch time of that video, which is huge for the algorithm. They also get a part, uh, a portion of what you pay for Premium. So, in fact, something like a fourth of my YouTube income is just literally bonus for people with Premium watching my stuff and watching downloading my stuff. So, that 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 works for all channels. Click the do not recommend channel option. Why should you care how many hours you have spent in the game? Yeah, I, I'm the same way. And I know some people really like the format in lots of games. There's a reason why it's so popular because people like it, right? That's completely fine. If you like it, watch whatever you like. But I don't really like the format all that too much. And for any game. And then if I see that one person's stuff recommended, I immediately tell YouTube not to, not to show things from this channel anymore. Just doesn't seem to work with shorts for some reason. A bit overused. Yeah. Download video a dozen times. Yeah, I don't know if downloading it multiple times helps, but... Yeah. It's interesting, too, because... Um, I think that someone must have said something to that person about them stealing content. Because they did another run where they copied Smurf's layout. Exactly. Like, one for one. And how he was doing... Uh, defense thing and they didn't know how to use it they were using it wrong and then he sent them something telling them they were using it wrong and so then when he put out the video about it he actually uh, put in the description that he had gotten the layout from Smurf which is interesting so Smurf sent me that he's like hey I just saw this the guy actually credited me instead of just using it and not saying anything it's like oh nice so yeah maybe they are uh, maybe they're changing their ways hopefully but Anyway, uh, like I said, I don't really like to bring it up. I just was answering a question because someone asked about it. You guessed that I get most of your $12 a month then? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how that works as far as like... I, I Obviously, some of it goes to YouTube itself, right? But Tribute collector, please. Please. Rimworld Vampire Daycare. Like, yes, I could probably get more clicks on the video when this, when this edited version comes out. Especially if we get to day 1000. I spent a thousand days on the hardest difficulty of RimWorld without pausing as a vampire coven. But I don't know. I, it, I'd feel bad putting out something like that that I don't like as a viewer just to try to get more people to click on it. I don't know. Something that you didn't like when you were younger, but like now? Something I didn't like when I was younger, but like now. Hmm. I guess, like, some of the food items at most... For a lot of kids. Like, I really didn't like onions when I was a kid, but now I love onions and lots of things. So I immediately think of food-related things. And the opposite of that is true, too. Like, when I was a kid, my when I have a birthday, I would want my grandmother to make me a chocolate cake with chocolate icing. I really liked super sweet rich stuff and these days i don't really like sweet stuff all that too much i guess food is the first thing i think of you make money on unlisted videos um from what i understand on un yeah unlisted videos if like let's say you have a patreon or let's say you have a discord with ten thousand people and they'll all watch your video you can have an unlisted video that still has ads in it and you can give the link to those ten thousand people they all watched it i'm sure you would still make income it's just that it's not going to be recommended to anyone. I still hate onions. Yep, cooties. Just hate sour cream, peanut butter, onions, and more. Now you love all of them. Dijon mustard, girls. <laughs> girls. Oh, they need Psykite. I don't know why the Empire is not sending the... Collector. Maybe... Hmm... I could try to do a ceremony 
and see if it allows me to do that. And then it would tell us if something's stopping them from coming. Let's see. No, there's nothing. There's nothing like enemies on map or anything. Sacrifice your first word to appease the algorithm. No, she's still around. Yeah, I've seen that too. Like foods that you don't like, you should try again. Maybe like every seven or eight years. See if your preferences have changed. There's a lot of 100 days content creators. Yeah, like, and there's a reason, right? It's super popular, so. There's a guy that does 100 day videos who you really like, and now you're afraid of him being the thief. I almost guarantee you it's them. <laughs> but they had no reason to stop. Like I said, maybe they've stopped doing it now, especially since they've, they've, they've credited like Smurf, for instance. But why would they have stopped back then? Because their channel went from like, 30,000 subscri subscribers to like 105,000. That guy's making tens of thousands of dollars a month on YouTube making those videos. So there's there's no there's no reason for them to stop doing it. Why would they stop? So. <sighs> oh yeah, I'm not talking about uh, Ambiguous Amphibian. In fact, Ambiguous Amphibian and I have hosted each other on Twitch a couple times. It's not Amphibian, no. I like watching the whole process. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, I'm, I have nothing against people that like watching that format. Just, I just don't, don't prefer it. Uh, Tribute Collector, come on. Uh, it kind of sucks that this is like all we're waiting on. Just literally a, a tribute collector. Like, yeah, I want to get the genes from the genie, but that's kind of... We don't need that to win. Seven hours. All right, genie. Just need the, the tribute collector. Confusion. Something that you don't enjoy as a viewer since this is your family's income. Well, you also got to remember that my family's income is basically Twitch. YouTube was always kind of a secondary thing, which is why I was okay losing money on the edits to try it out. So I don't need, like, I definitely appreciate all YouTube stuff and I don't mean it in a negative way to anyone watching on YouTube, but I don't need YouTube to survive or for my family to survive. I could delete my YouTube channels and we would still pay all of our bills and be fine. We'd, we'd be fine. I was living off Twitch income way before I made anything off YouTube. So it's always not a good idea to have all your eggs in one basket, but it's not the case that I have to try to completely appease the algorithm no matter what. Now, if it came down to like, you must make 100 day videos or your, your daughter will starve. Of course, obviously, obviously I would start doing it, but. But yeah, I, I am fortunate in that regard that I... Oh god, Kasu! I'm already able to... to live off of it, so... And I want, I want things to grow on YouTube as well, but I'm not gonna... You know... Do things that I don't like, or... Because at the end of the day, if I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff that, that I don't like then I might as well be doing a, a different job, you know? So, lots of jobs that I could do. So, I'll, I'll keep it a fun job for the most part. Uh, okay, that one is dead. I kept seeing that icon pop up, but I couldn't tell which one it was coming from. Kasu, we'll go ahead and coagulate here. Do I agree with people that say Twitch will die? I will. I would be very surprised. People really like to say that things are dying or dead or whatever. You'll see that with video games. Like, a game will have 700,000 concurrent players. And then 
two months later, it'll be down to 250,000 and people will be like, that game's dead. Like what? <laughs> so no, I, I highly doubt it, uh, especially with, you know, Amazon being at the head. Amazon basically has infinite money. If they want to keep it going and keep doing it. So I, I would be really shocked for it to just be shut down. So that would like Power World, for instance. Yeah. Ah, this game's dead. It has hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah. No, I, I don't. I'm not worried about it. But like I said, though, you never know. So it's one of those things about not having all your eggs in one basket for sure. It's one reason why I expanded off to other stuff other than Twitch for sure. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't have. Any kind of view of the future, just like no one does, but I don't think there's definitely ways that they could make it worse for sure, and lots of ways that they can make it better also. And they could, I keep w worrying that they're gonna make it, they're gonna take away Twitch uh, Prime. That's that's like one of the big worries at the moment, but yeah, we'll see. Banana, three months. Thank you, Banana. On episode six of the VODs, currently binging against the storm. Thanks to you. How's the run now? Uh, the run is really stable. We're kind of just waiting on royalty ranks to do the the uh, royalty ending. And for some reason, we're just not getting the tribute collector. I don't know why. Don't know. The map is safe. Uh, we can do quests. Traders show up. It's not too polluted. We're just not getting them. They're, they're friendly with us. I have no idea. Bad luck, I guess. I don't know. But it's really, uh, it's really fine at the moment. Twitch Prime, yeah, Twitch Prime is all a lot of my subs actually. Quite a few. Oh right, it's got to be. Yeah, we don't want it there. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Uh. Here we go. No straight back. No, because it would tell us on this quest. Like we wouldn't be able to accept this. We had that happen earlier in the run where here this was this is red because it wouldn't accept it. So the Empire can show up. There's not. You can give gold to the Empire for honor. Yes, but they have to come get it. Yeah, that's the problem. The game's sensing that we need a tribute collector. And so that, that's the problem. They have to actually come get the gold and prisoners. Actually, if there's gold around. We should be mining that too. So we have extra when they get here. So I don't have to wait again. A little bit of gold there. Can't go tell them. No, you can go trade with them, but you can't go drop stuff off for honor. Yeah, you can do that for trades, but not for honor. Seem like they're not going to release one after all. I think they'll still release Rimworld DLC. We don't know when. I still think they will. Up to this point, there's no reason to think otherwise, right? So they are a... Up to now, they're a one-game company. And they have hired more people since Biotech came out. So either they're working on more RimWorld content, or they are working on another game. I feel like it'll be this year. I still think it will be, yeah. But I, I again, I just base it on nothing. Nothing than what, what's happened in the past, right? So... The hope for Rimworld 2. I'd be really surprised. First each year is getting more expensive, and now they're adding ads in a Prime video. Yeah. You've heard that PC gaming's dead over and over for like 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. My uh, my pleasure. Yeah. Thank you for, thank you for hanging out. 
activity on the unnamed DLC in Steam has increased. That's another thing, too, that's a pretty big sign, right? It doesn't necessarily mean anything, but they are uploading and changing encrypted files on the back end of Steam quite a bit. So I feel like that's got to be... Got to be a big update or DLC, whatever. Stop playing since royalty. Are you playing with mods or only with the last DLC that you have all these genes and text? That's DLC. Yeah, that's uh, the genes and text and things that you see. That is all DLC. Biotech added a lot. So um, we're actually, I usually don't use very many mods, but the only thing that you will see in this that is a mod, that's actually like a thing you can look at, not just the colors behind this, is the mountain. The mountain being in the center is a mod. But all this, all the buildings, these caskets, the gene ripping, um, these, like, all of this. These friendly mechs, everything. All of that is just base game plus DLC, yeah. Biotech added a whole lot to the game. Added children, it added genes, it added friendly mechs, and lots of, lots of smaller things amongst all that as well. Are they still actually uploading and changing things to the back end on Steam? Yeah. Yeah. They are. So something, something's going on. Randy influence and run behind the scenes. P3! Over the 20 months, E3. Double digits times two. Yeah, I'm pretty bummed that the Empire's not showing up. I don't know. I thought we'd get that pretty quickly today, and it's just not happening. If it doesn't happen, we might just go with one royal tomorrow. I don't know. Enjoy looking at Seed Run on the Vanilla Room World. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Thank you for watching that. Yeah, uh, that video is actually, we we're talking about YouTube. That video is currently one of the best performing on the channel the last couple of weeks. The algorithm just seems to be picking it up. It is kind of interesting, I guess, watching an entire hardest difficulty Rim World run from start to ship launch in just like a six hour video. So, yeah, it's doing pretty well. Thank you for watching that. Yeah, I wish you could request a tribute collector. Like, you can call the Empire and request a trader, but you can't. Huh. Anything else? Uh, Anarchy. Thank you for the brand new sub. Thank you, Anarchy. Thank you for using the Twitch Prime here. Speaking of Twitch Prime, very much appreciated. Like I said, we can keep improving on other things, but. There's not like a lot we need to do. I guess I need to switch some more over to rise. We have excess power still. Like a lot of excess power. Uh Yeah, alright, we'll get this other one up. Dwarf run. Oh my god, yeah, the dwarf run ending <laughs> with friggin' Stellark and their uh their friends getting friendly fire. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. If you have someone that's high enough rank, you should be able to drop off golden prisoners at a settlement. If the tribute collector shows up, we need to be really quick to go give them stuff because it's... Uh, it's not unlikely that they end up getting hit by, a, get hit by a raid while they're here or something and they leave. Uh, Genie 3, where's... Okay, Genie 1 is ready again. Genie 2 is ready as well. Daylight savings time, oh no. Oh god, we get to spring forward, it's the worst. Get rid of it. Uh, no, no, we ended up... Scanning enough that I didn't end up needing to go out and mine it, but it's still there if we ever need it. Yeah, we have. We've been mining it uh, around here. 
Now I'm just mining extra gold for the tribute collector. Not in the UK yet. Growth moment for Empire. Okay. Beautiful. Now the theme for the next run. No, not 100% yet. We were joking around a little bit about the next run being a good guy run as a palate cleanser for how horrific this run was. But I haven't decided 100% on it. Beautiful environment. Stop being in pretty places. Go outside. <laughs> That's a pretty, pretty weird sentence. Don't make me have you fight this cat with your bare hands. Pretty sure we've played for a in-game year today, right? No, maybe, maybe not. I'm getting close to it, though. What do we get? What do we get? Delicate. Uh, Genie 2, Genie 2, let's go. Little incentive to do the opposite mood run. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've kind of practiced with that. Try right you to check yours. Yeah, so, yeah, I appreciate it. So, for anyone that doesn't know, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link it to Twitch. You can get Twitch Prime, and that allows you to get one free sub at a channel of your choice per month. It doesn't auto-renew, so you have to come use it somewhere every month. I have to rem remember to use mine on another channel. I try to spread mine around and use it a different channel. A few different channels, you know, switch it every month to try to help people out. So even if you don't use it here, you know, make uh, make Amazon pay that extra 250 to someone. Give your Bezos bucks to someone. The bot's down right now because the Twitch token on it needs refreshed. I don't want to do it. Just, it went down in the middle of the stream, so I'll have to do it for tomorrow. Do you ever do a modded Xenotype run? I'm not opposed to it. Yeah, I usually do some kind of modded run, maybe like every four or five runs. So. It's been a while to do the... Uh, what was the last big modded run we did? Zombie Lands? Zombie Land? Trying to make a RimWorld mod? No, I've, I've never tried. Never tried to make a RimWorld mod. I don't think I know enough about RimWorld files and stuff like that to do any of that. Awful social. Oh my god. I'm about to just rip again, even though it'll kill them. I shouldn't do it. Melee gods versus zombies. <gasps> Tree collector! Where are you? Go! They're here! Don't raid me, Cassandra. Prison break. No! I need these prisoners to be able to walk. <laughs> wow. Friggin' ridiculous. A prison break right as they get here that kills like two or three prisoners. Nice. Hopefully we still have enough. How many times have you seen the affair event? Quite a bit, actually, yeah. Need me to pick up? Okay. Alright. Ah, <sighs> crap. What does that get her to? Praetor? Man, um... I 
I don't think we can get there. Name her Rykard. We're mining gold right now, but gold isn't super efficient with uh, with it anyway. Um, I don't really want to give them the slaves because then we're gonna just have to get more of them. What other options do we have? Even the, the genies, I guess. That's still not going to get her there. Yeah. I guess there are nine more. How far away is she? Count Countess is 65 total. Okay. Tribute Collector is guaranteed once a year. It can happen twice a year. The thing is, they won't be able to walk yet. They're not going to be here long enough for them to get over the anesthetic. <sighs> a long way to go, yeah. Kim, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, Kim. Appreciate it. We could give the genies. We're not getting the dead calm thing right now anyway. How are you thinking? So need I'm not sure yet. At this rate, we have to wait again. But yeah, they they would still be unable to walk. So they have to be able to walk. And if they're on the anesthesia, they still won't be able to. And that sucks. Never played RimWorld. Enjoy the content. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So never played RimWorld. So is there a Game from watching Going Medieval. Well, I've never played a game called Going Medieval, so you might be thinking about someone else. <laughs> you're thinking about a different game, or maybe you're thinking about something like, now I might feel bad. And it's like, oh, you gave the sub to the wrong person. <laughs> hmm. Giving them legs and giving them go juice. Can I get them woken up in time? I don't know. Let's test it with one, I guess, and we'll know for the future. Uh, install peg leg left, install peg leg right, and give them go juice. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, I am curious now, yeah. It's been real, but it's in beta. Gotcha. Reason you got addicted to RimWorlds? Any dream about it? I've still never had a dream about RimWorlds. You ask me sometimes. Nope. Hurry up. Test this out. I'm at supplier. Okay. I guess only one leg is needed, actually. Oh, that one's actually able to walk again. Go, go. But I'm not sure this one's going to be up in time. Also to grow psychoid in the tundra biome. Uh, you definitely do it, yeah. So it just needs a warm room and a sun lamp. There's also some tundras that are actually like 1060 or 2060 growing. Dream about Tetris. No, I don't really dream about video games at all. I can't remember dreaming about a video game. Weirdly enough. Uh, yeah, he's not able to walk time. Okay, so... He's at 40. Hmm. Or 
33. We could give the genies. That would put her... It's still not enough, though, right? Still not enough. It's really close. But that would just get her to Baroness. Man, do we give some of the slaves and just make new slaves? Maybe. Maybe. Ed Factorio Dreams. Kind of suck making new slaves, but we can do that in less time, I think, right? Because we just have... We have people over here. Hmm. And if we had Dead Calm, this would already be solved. Because all these guys would be walking. Still live with only half your body. Tire right side, blown or written off, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't want to have to remake all these. Because we also would have to do... Uh, I don't know. Would that even be enough? We're getting nine from them, right? He's a, he's actually able to walk. We might could have done it in time. Baroness. Okay, so forty six. Yeah, man, she's pretty far away still. We'd have to give. Quite a lot, actually. Man, that would really set us back. Um, I wish there was a way to keep them here while we did a couple more, got a couple more of these going. Let's see. All peg leg left. All peg leg left. All peg leg left. Don't think they're going to be here in time. Get more honor for a good bestowment ceremony? I don't think so. Quest would probably put us over. Question is, do I want to trade off those genies? And then maybe one good quest would do it. All right, live. You're here, you're here. Get up to three honor for the ceremony. Slaves are or the genies would give us nine. So what is that? Twelve. We only need seven more, so decent quest would do it. It's unfortunate that, that prisoner quest failed. Also, those prisoners that died just a minute ago. Alright, keep hanging around. We'll wait till the last second. Hopefully those guys will be able to walk. Surgery failed. It would be interesting to do her ceremony and then she gets the points to go to Countess right after that and just has another ceremony. Give them go juice. I tried that, yeah. It does, it didn't make the anesthetic wear off faster. I don't think so, did it? Maybe it did. This one failed, unfortunately. You guys, just stick around. Stick around. They're gonna leave soon. Don't leave, don't leave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
mean, we will get quests, of course, but it could be quests that we couldn't even do. Well, maybe we should have Lona calling us out for eight days for three honor. Come on, give me the signal that someone's able to walk again. These guys have got to be getting ready to go. No sleep. Wait, what about you? No sleep. You can sleep on the road. Just you can sleep here. Spend the night. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Em. Yeah, I don't mind uh, answering questions, talking about like even behind the scenes stuff like that. Oh, there's one. Hopefully, it never comes off in the wrong sort of way. How close is she? 52. No! Oh god, they're so close to the edge. Come back! So how close did we get? She's at 58. Okay. Uh, the the bot is down at the moment. So unfortunately, the bot needs a new Twitch token. It does that like every 45 days or whatever. And it just happened to go down during the, during the stream. But basically, we're doing a single phage themed run where the, the only people that are allowed to be colonists are single phage and everyone else has to be enslaved or imprisoned. That's the That's the basics of it. Tiger just wasn't able to... Ah, uh, I didn't give him the... Go juice. Forgot about him. Uh, alright. Who's left leg? So, we could do her ceremony. Let's get her a throne. Be more of that gold mine. Uh, I think we have slate. Yeah, slate. All right, we'll get her a throne up, and then we'll do her ceremony, and then we'll see what she gets from that. Sub, etc. Please share. Uh, for Twitch, not, not, not really, unless something like comes up. And there's definitely some things like we were talking about earlier about muting the tabs to the stream. So if you need to, if you want to lurk at a stream anywhere and you want to still count, but you're not going to have the stream as the active window, then muting the tab instead of the stream itself helps. Um. Aside from little things like that, don't really have much else. Uh, Bookle, thank you for the bronze membership. Thank you, Bookle. Much appreciated. I keep wanting to add R's to your name, by the way. Every time I see your name, I almost call you Brooke every time. How much blood do you need per day as an estimate? You're, if you have one blood bag per single phage with no other... If you're not really using their abilities and you don't have anything to make them more imagine efficient through the, the caskets and having one for one will be a little bit more than what you need so that's kind of a baseline i would say if you're going to be using the abilities a lot obviously you're going to need to consume more of the blood i would say just a one for one is a good start min max lurking going harry welcome in have a good weekend thank you, thank you. Your name is Brooke. All right. So my my intuition of calling you Brooke was right. <laughs> Bookle Brookle. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do her ceremony. Get this done. Then maybe we'll get lucky with it. Shall see. EQ, you sure are taking your time. And then if we get her to count S rank, we'll be good to do the, the ending event tomorrow, I guess. And we'll see if the vampires 
go off to the Empire world, I guess. Or we die. Hosting a co colony settler. Ageless and furry tail. No. Yeah, the, the bot is down at the moment. Uh, the Twitch key for it begins to refresh. I can't do that until I'm done with the stream. It just went down near the stream, but we're barely using anything. The main thing is no pause mod, P music, camera plus, and we're using something called um, more slavery stuff. But yeah, pretty, pretty vanilla plus DLC adjacent. Oh, and I usually don't use that, but we're also using uh, color coded mood bars this time. Pretty, pretty light. Skulls needs death rest. Uh, come on, EQ. My lord. And those thrones take forever. Vampire heaven. Oceans made of blood. I don't remember this one taking that long, but I guess I didn't watch it because we had other stuff going on. But at the moment, we kind of don't have anything. I should probably get this room ready because I need to move these two over there. So we can have the Stellark in that room. Or have the Stellark in this room. More likely. Either way, we need the floor over there done. So let's turn these... Oh, they're already back on. We just haven't mined much stone in a while. So I have the color mood bars easier as a viewer. Yeah, I mainly did it so it would be really easy to see and that the slaves are red. We need them to be in this one. It's under there, steel and... EQ. I feel like you've been working on this for days. Can't rush perfection. Are you our best construction person? Yep. 17 in construction. Except this, you need to sign a throne. Yeah. I know we could have just done the other throne, but... Baroness. How close was she? Seven points or something? Sixty-five, okay. So yeah, seven points. Jimbo needs death rest, okay. The kid. What about the how how much did this take anyway? I'm not sure. There's 1,300 work left. Yeah, I don't know what the starting work amount is on a Grand Meditation Throne. But apparently, it's very high. Uh, anything else that we need to do out here in the meantime? I mean, we could do more wall-type stuff like, like we've done down here. Give us more time when the raids occur during the Stellark part. But eh. we're also going to need more rice built up because we want to make better food for the launch. So let's maybe do this one and make some uh, fine food for the royals. Hopefully we get lucky and she shows up as a single phase. Usually the easiest way to go. Because then you can just uh, put them in death rest <laughs> all the way until the shuttle's here. All right. So, you are the donkeys. Might as well buy components while they're here. I could probably go out looking for for jeans again. After death rest, I guess I might as well. EQ, come on. Holy crap. Maybe today's the day, EQ. Pretty soon we can get rid of all the donkeys. We'll switch over to horses. It'll be much faster to go out and do all of our stuff. Uh, when do we need to raid again? No recent conquest soon. Steel. 
silver, potatoes, wood. I haven't chosen any permits. I just haven't really needed them. Yeah, I don't know. I was waiting to try to decide which ones I wanted, but. All right, here we go. I'll probably just end up choosing cataphracts and things like that. Other woman, become the Baroness. Save a horse, eat a donkey. I feel like I remember that differently. Hey, sweet lane. How similar this playthrough is to your melee only run so that your vampires learn lean to melee weapons. It's relatively similar. They're not as strong as the melee gods. And of course we have slaves that are using um, the guns, but it is pretty similar. Cataract armor with royalty weapons. Just smashing things. But at single phase, we also have to be really careful about fire. So there's certain things that we just can't run out and bash, which is why we have the sleeves of the guns. But yeah, in general, it's it's similar to the melee gods, but melee gods was a lot. I don't know. Melee gods is a lot of fun. This one has been fun, but I think melee gods is a hard one to top because it was one of the most fun runs, maybe the most fun run I've ever done. That and Winston Waves. I want the quality percentage. Oh man, this is going to make the slaves happy. Oh well. We got to try to get the points out of it. 40,000 ticks of work for Grand Meditation Throne. That's crazy. Yeah, we were talking about the ending of the door front earlier. That was brutal. We had to redo the royalty ending three times because the Empire people kept getting friendly fire. Unimpressive. That sucks. CLC, would you recommend to buy first? I think you can't go wrong going in reverse order. The Ludian teams got bigger over time and the DLCs have gotten more expansive. So I would say you can't go wrong doing biotech, then ideology, then royalty. Uh, from a min-max standpoint, I usually, in themed playthrough, I usually like ideology the most. But just personal preference, I would say just go in reverse order. You can, If you can only get one at a time, get in biotech. We'll give you a lot of content. Single phage eat normal food as well. Yeah, they're not like actual vampires. It's just genes. Single phages are just gene. It's just a genetic thing. So they still eat normal food. Blood they need for their hemogen bar. But they also still have the food bar. Yeah. At least the slaves won't be happy yet. Look on the bright side. Okay, so that means we're either waiting on a quest or we're waiting for... Uh, for them... Wait. Do we only need three now? Did she still get some from that? Yeah, she only needs three. Oh my god. If I had given one more, one of the slaves over, we would have it. The good news is, like, any quest at all that gives honor, she'll get there. Hey, why are you so happy? Burning passion for your work? You're happy that I'm here and I'm your master? Well, I'm leaving. So, see ya. We go trade with the pigs. I'm pretty sure it's reset, right? Yeah. Can't be your master if I'm not here. Trade some these donkeys while we're gone. Yeah, I guess I should have just uh, given up one of the slaves. I didn't know how close we were going to be, of course, but. 
That would have been pretty nice. All right. I actually would have given the other genie, but he was, he had a mental breakdown, so I couldn't give him to them. That would have done it. Baroness specific apparel. Uh, we need a prestige helmet for her, so we'll keep a look at for that. Or out, we should be able to get that. She has prestige armor already. It would be nice if the vampires only needed blood. Yeah, but they need both. I'm guessing that's why they didn't call them vampires. Sanguifage kind of vampire, but... It's because it's just gene stuff. Just gene stuff. Can't you just make a prestige helmet? That is true. We do have the stuff. It's 90 gold, but we, we have enough laying there. Hmm. Guess I might as well. Uh, let's see. All right, yeah, we'll just make hers. Wait, if we still find one on while we're out or something, I haven't started on it yet. We'll just buy it. But all right, so just three honor, three honor. I'd like to get that today. Oh crap, we still haven't done those either. Anyone, how much longer? Eight days. That was not important for you. Back raid. What a split raid it is. What do we got? Uh, Centurion, a bunch of centipedes. War Queen, Apocriton. Crap. Two Apocriton. Should be fine. There's gonna be. Are there any flame centipedes? Generally, with these, it's all blasters, right? All blasters. Should be fine. The problem is the War Queen is going to send those little mechs, drones, and then the Apocryon's gonna res them and it's gonna push us out of the way. But we do have two sides now, so we'll probably be okay. Starving. Oh, God. Um, there, all right, that Okay, boots, uh, grab the EMP. Should be okay, though. No jeans here. You guys reset? Eight days. Nope. No, I don't want to be out here for eight days. Um... Be nice if Jimbo got up for this raid. All right, here we go.
Oh, uh, there's the other Zeus hammer. Push down the way, why can't you go there? You can obviously stand on a Scyther. Yeah, it was, it's really weird. He's still not able to stand there. L like another pawn is on the way or something. Is that it? Did I have him? Yeah, I think that was it. So when I selected everyone, I've never seen that bug. When I selected everyone, and I drafted and I right click and, and drug across here. I think it tried to put Kid Jimbo here, but he's in stasis basically. So I couldn't do it. But he still had that slot taken. Interesting. Yeah, he was uh, basically yeah paralyzed, stasis, whatever. So he couldn't couldn't get to that spot but to the game was still having him take up that spot mm, I should have done it that way Should be okay still though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be blast damage organic pawns or is it just combat extended thing? Must be a combat extended thing, yeah. things I should have done differently there, but it's all right. It's all right. Uh, Muffin Girl needs to rest. It's a highly stupid C thing. Yeah, that is weird. EMP blast hurt just completely biological pawns of combat extended. I assume the blast should have some kind of actual impact. The actual like blast wave, I guess. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, more structuring chips, so we could add even more power. We don't need to. Useful for downing people with tox. Yeah, you could do that as well. Yeah. As long as your people are immune to it, you could throw the toxic grenades right here in the front of it for your melee blocking. Do that. Uh, where are you, EQ? There you are. All right. There are organic pawns. Let's see about Yeah, that's weird. Uh, Jake. Thank you for the three months. Thank you, Jake. Kim, thank you again for the 
five gift subs. I know it happened during kind of crazy bit of the stream, or at least conversating one. So hopefully it wasn't like I just passed over it too quickly, but I do appreciate it. So thank you again for the gift subs. All right, arts, arts. Hey, what sidecast did she get? Chunk skip, of course. Blinding pulse, word of love. Skip, super great. Flash storm. Also give her word of inspiration. Then maybe, just maybe. He's already inspired. Wait, what does he have? She have go frenzy. What do you have? Inspire recruitment. What? Put me in the book of the book of grief, book of grudges. Which one? The book of rage. You you have your own book of grudges. <laughs> All of it. All of them. Use the MP just as a roll. Renders it. Area of arcing electricity. Have to hurt. So more of a actual electrical blast. Oh, they still hit mass. That would have been legendary then. Legendary. Yeah, uh, was that the first attack or the second? So Cassandra can hit us again right now. So I might want to wait to go do the, the raid. Which one's the easiest one to go hit, though? 19 people. 23, 28. So I guess we'll go hit that one. Three more honor. Three more honor. They designate uh, damage as electrical burn. Gotcha. Going green ghost. Welcome back. Uh, is Genie almost ready? Nope. Six days. How long on this? Five days. Oh, I completely forgot that we were converting that guy. They got brain damage, so... Other woman needs death rest. Okay. You got your helmet, and they're going to bed. There you go. I guess we just keep it you know, as 4x as much as we can. Uh, another thing that we could do is get more blocks. Like I said, things like this to buy us some time. Be good. It might be a good idea to set up a second shotgun tunnel up here. Not only in case we get a breach coming from the side, but also if like this one gets into disrepair during the end game events. Yeah. Probably a good idea. Met cluster. It's been a while since we got a met cluster. Weather controller fog. I think we'll wake that up and bring the pigs in. Actually, we might not need to bring the pigs in. We just. Yeah, we're fine to just kill it. Don't want anyone going out there while we're doing this. Okay, grab the mortars. Oops. I didn't see any high shields. I'll double check though really quick. Actually before I fire. Yeah, I don't see any. Alright, back to the guns. What's wrong with you? Nothing, I'm just slow. Oh, okay. That's fine.
All right, wake him up. Nice hit. Can we get one more? Yeah, don't let any fire get in here. In fact, I don't think... Did I make a popper over here? Yeah, there is. They're standing on it. It's fine. Should have held fire. It's not a goods. Maybe they have my my jeans. You guys got jeans? Berserk, always good. Kind. Not in this run. Strong intellect. Hot. Kind and hot. I feel like this radio is more centipedes. <laughs> better off just there's no flame thing just sending all of our melee to melee lock like i did that one raid on the last stream built again but i guess the raids are on a cooldown now so we can go do that raid brought too much wall yeah those shooters not doing as much favors um we got the met cluster still do we have a smoke launcher what point three days ago we should still have one. Oh, you know what i bet it got smelted maybe We'll see. I, I don't have it set there, apparently. So let's set smoke launcher. And see if one gets brought over there. I feel like I might have accidentally smelted it. <laughs> Force landing. Tin honor. That'll do it. If we can defend this, that'll do it. So we got to hope the raid. It's a one star. Oh, no. <laughs> She's in death arrest right now. Uh, Get up. Yeah, you're going to have to wake up early. Sorry. Sorry. Force landing for other woman. 
The Baroness. Okay. Shuttle crashed there. Too bad I didn't. Well, I, maybe that wouldn't have been a good idea, actually. Say too bad I didn't crash down there, but. Supreme expectations. Trapped indoors. Well, don't worry. You're about to be outside. Uh, eight hours. Let's go now. Alright, hopefully this is an easy raid to deal with. And they only sent one guy to protect them. Favorite kind. Kind, or favorite type. Kind and hot. <laughs> Don't show up with explosives, all right? You know what? You can go back. It's fine. Oh, they're not going to like this toxic wasteland here. Two Yorkies versus Cataphracts. Just uh, don't be explosives, don't be imps. Anything else, we should be all right. I think. Solar flare. Oh no. Oh, they're dead. Well, some of them. They didn't have the jeans worn anyway. One guy, but he's heavily armored. Yeah, he has a minigun. <laughs> Only one one. Yeah, we've had bigger ones. Um. Well, that was pretty easy because they just had all... Hey, don't walk in that crap. No friendly fire, no friendly fire. It was a one-star quest, though. But, yeah. All right. We don't even need those prisoners. Don't even need them. Good job, team. Good job. Luckily, they had basically no firepower and were all immune to toxicity, so. <laughs> Works for me. Lots of toxic grenades. Yeah, lots and lots. Hey, Genie. How close are you? Any headache? Count and Countess! Hooray! I gotta kick them out of this room. Oh, that is not good. Obviously getting a headache. It's not good, but... Um... Yeah, let's make that other shotgun tunnel up there. So, two... Uh, how far down from this do we have it starting on this one? 12? Alright, we'll just follow that same... Wait, was it 12 from the door? 12 from the actual door, okay. No door, but... Dig in there. I actually thought I clicked on that. There we go. Now she can get her death thrust done. Mm. 
Steel needs death rest as well. Didn't pave that room, apparently. Kind of forgot. Just forgot about it. So I guess we don't really need this up here anymore. I'm sure, what I'm gonna put there instead, but yeah, you guys don't need to use that. Oh crap! I forgot to uh, keep an eye on those messages. <laughs> Yeah, we do have a smoke launcher, okay. Alright, let's go take care of that really quick before I forget again. Uh, boots, grab the smoke launcher. Okay, come out here and we'll grab... You guys are still drafted, so just go ahead and come down. <clears throat> Alright. Boots. And use the smoke to conceal from the turrets. Hopefully hear some more explosions like that. Get some chain reactions going. I don't even know how close they are to each other for chain reactions, but... Good. You guys can come back. Catatonic on Genie 1. Ah, that's all right. Yeah, go ahead and get the EMP again. Apparently my armor went bad. Yeah, I guess so. So let's make a prestige cataphract armor. Uh, that name. Drop of the ground, close by radius. Okay. EQ needs death rest. So we can go out and do the raid now if we wanted to. I guess we don't super need to. We're definitely going to want to before we do any kind of uh, not ship launch, um, royalty ending, but. And put fence on that. Uh, I guess we don't need to. We already have it up here. We'll end up opening that to use this at some point, of course. Okay, so. Widen this a little bit. Actually, let's go out to three again. Should be good, I think. On this side. Same thing on the other. Then finds a way to let us have hundreds of pawns of the game trying to implode. That'd be awesome, man. I would love to have multiple bases uh, in that regard. Sure. I'd be surprised they're able to do that without making a new game or remaking this one, but that would be pretty awesome. Okay, with those doors there, I guess... Oh. 
that's gonna be fine mine the rest of that out from yeah, yeah like from the ground up sort of thing unfortunately you're doing a medieval playthrough and you just had mechs land So we'll have this as a backup, uh, but I think we'll be okay. You never know though, sometimes you get the maximum amount of raids and Cassandra is hitting at the same time. And this might get to a point where we just can't repair it for the next raid. So having another area we can open up, definitely worthwhile. All right, Zamana, death rest. What do you want, Aries? What do you want? Yeah, I'll go get I'll go get the small one momentarily, don't you worry. Your daughter needs me to go pick her up, so. Can you make it symmetrical? What do you mean? I, I that's the plan. There's going to be another tunnel back here, yeah. And I just got to remember not to shoot from that one. This is just literally to get back around to the other ones, but I I plan on on this. I'm guessing that's what you meant. Yeah, it should be symmetrical or else it's not going to work correctly in this in this case. From the 5. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just gotta remember. This one I actually don't have that set up. I should probably do it down here too, just so we have another way to get around here that's not going through where people are getting shot. Just gotta gotta remember not to actually get people in the back one. We won't have to worry about friendly fire. No one will worry about that. Come on. You can do it. Got like a zero in mining. What's going on here? Thank you. Maybe we can finally get that done so we can kick them out of the Stellark room or if this is going to be the Stellark room or whatever. That's zero to use for defensive walls. Plasteel. In the base game, Plasteel is the best if you can get it. Plasteel has the highest HP and also is a really uh, fast building time. Next after Plasteel is Uranium. And then after that, when you get into the normal stones, Granite has a little bit higher HP. Plasteel. Plasteel Meteor, yeah. <laughs> Through all your walls is a Plasteel Meteor with 8,000 HP. Good luck with that. That would be pretty awesome, though. Uh, I guess we'll just smooth all this. Then that's about all I'm going to do for defenses, honestly. Bad you can't smooth plasteel. Yeah, smooth plasteel meteor wall. It depends. But yeah, Plasteel has the highest HP out of the buildable stuff. The non-modded buildable stuff. I guess I can use this for the barracks for the people that come with the Stellark. Although I kind of don't want to use them very much. Probably going to get them killed on purpose so I don't accidentally get in any friendly fire crap going on. Been there. We've done that too many times. We'll run the power up on these sides after they're smoothed. Genie, how close are you? We don't 
necessarily need it as much as we did before, but I mean, still having dead calm and all the prisoners so that they just feed themselves without us having to worry about them escaping would be would be nice. Save a lot of work during the event. Hey, what the crap? You take that off. Oh my god. Oh, that's my old one that's tattered. All right, you can wear it, I guess. I guess so. That name's making my new one. Uh, let's see. Can we use word of... Creation? No, we're not. I think go juice. That got you up to 71. Hmm. I'm not sure I want to risk an overdose on it. <laughs> she already have an inspiration. She doesn't. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, uh, she's a vampire. She'll be fine. It can't, it can't destroy her brain. All right, there we go. Word inspiration. Where'd you go, dat name? Come on, creative inspiration. Fire trade. I wish they would trade or change the... Well, she's probably pretty good at social, right? Yeah. Going to Sterk? You're everywhere. Well, you're in two places at least. What do you mean dangerous food type? What'd you eat? You're supposed to just be eating paste? Yeah, so I just gotta wait on that to get smoothed. Uh, once that's smooth, we can run power up there. We got the rooms for the cell arc done. Got rooms for all the vampires. Uh, before we do the end event, we'll wanna do a raid to get mood up from that. I wanna do festivals and make some emergency meals. Otherwise, I think we'll be good. For inspiration, sometimes just refuse to give a reasonable inspiration. Yeah. It would be nice if you could pick the inspiration. Maybe that'd be too strong. No, it's already really strong. Enough genes in a herbal playthrough to make a better vampire. Yeah, in fact, we actually ran across quite a few of those genes in this run. Because it's such a long run, though. So if you're doing a long run, yeah, we found quite a few of the sigmophage genes out in the world that we could have bought. Then we also come across some of the uh, other things like um, super fast wound healing and um, the super clotting. Super clotting is crazy. We found unstoppable. All those are super good. So yeah, if you play long enough, yeah. Not this time. Yeah, that's why I was looking at the other screen. You probably saw me. I was like, wait, are you on that side? <laughs> yeah, no worries. There's my new armor. I'm a 16 plus construction, trade inspiration 10 times a row. If it if it always picked just the highest stat to give you an inspiration on, that might be decent, but unfortunately, you might end up running into a situation where you're just getting shooting shooting inspiration on everyone, but Where will you put the barracks of the Royal Guard? I think I'm going to put it here cuz we're kind of done with this. This was a place to hold prisoners to give to the Empire and we're already at Count and Countess rank. So I think I'll probably do that here. Maybe make the room a little bit fancier. So help their mood. Best. Ah, uh, thank you, Leo. Very kind of you to say. Glad the stream could be, you know, distraction at the very least or whatever, but make sure you give yourself some credit. So if you're going through, sometimes I do get people that come in and they're like, that, that say similar stuff. They give themselves no no credit for getting through hard times, so. But, yeah. Thank you for letting me know. I appreciate it. No way to find genes that aren't in any xenotype. Genes are like strong medicine, aren't in defaults, xenos. The only thing you can really do is trade with settlements. That's what I've been doing, like, 
Uh, I've been going to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight trade settlements almost on cooldown. So I would say just put your initial colony, if you can, close to a lot of potential caravanning trade sites and then just go trade with them. They usually have one or two gene packs. Sometimes you get really lucky. Sometimes, like you said, it just takes forever to find one you're looking for, but... Uh, exotic goods will have tra gene packs. Yep, yeah, exotic, exotic goods trade ships. So make sure you have your uh, your comms console down as soon as you can. But in general, there's no way to force those genes to show up. As we've seen, we've been trying to get specific gene forever. But. Oh, we gave you that leg. That's right. We can make you fight now if we wanted to. Nah, I better just take that leg. I don't want him to break out. Wait, what are you? What are you? Um, okay. We're just going to take that leg back. We just wanted you to remember what it was like to walk around for a little bit. Wow. We literally gave that guy one leg. He hopped around for a couple days and we're going back and taking it away. Extract a specific gene from a pawn and mix it to try to get a variance. Uh, it doesn't work that way. There might be like a mod that does that, but basically how it works for extracting is you put them in a gene extractor and the gene extractor pulls out a gene pack that can be one gene or it can be multiple genes in a pack. But once you have that gene out of it, then you can, with whatever genes you, whatever amount of genes you have, you can go into here and choose through them. So like this one was one that was extracted as a triple. So that's why they're all in that same box. And then you just add them and depending on complexity, so how many genes you, you're using, you might need more gene processors. And then if you have archite genes, you're gonna need, um, you're gonna need the archite gene capsules. as a reagent to, to make those packs. But yeah, in general, you can't, the only way you can get genes in biotech to use is to extract and get lucky or buy them from traders. I don't know if that's what you meant exactly, but. Somebody simply forces any prisoner to enter the gene every time they've got their genes regrown. <laughs> yeah. That's what, yeah, okay. Can you use the genes over and over? Yes, yeah. So once you get the genes, as long as you keep them in the gene bank so they don't deteriorate, uh, you can also save. So in, in the game itself, like once you have one set up, you can save a template. So we have this one for our slaves, right? So this is the template and we can just keep reusing it. Just, it takes some extra work time, the research job. It's actually the top research job. So if you come into work and you hover over any of these, it'll tell you the order of things that they'll do at that job. The very first one is create xenogerms. If you have if you have it set up, your researcher will do that before they do anything else. Yeah, that's true. You can install. We were going to do that with the no sleep and ended up not doing that. But if so, what what's being mentioned? So like if you want this never sleep gene and you don't want it to have go juice dependency and roar voice, you can implant this into someone you don't care about and then you could try to extract never sleep from them uh every whatever 15 days or whatever it is 10 or 15 days 12 days i don't remember they changed how many days so you can kind of do it do it that way all right all this gene talk surely this is the time that we're gonna get dead calm there we use it yeah it's i mean you know it's not that uh it was just with biotech right so biotech's only a little over a year old months whatever I heard a commotion I wasn't expecting a pig fighting a bear with an with an well I should say it in a uh, different direction they finding a bear with a knife the bear doesn't have the knife and what is your shooting you're actually hitting this over and over 11 burning passion Come on, Poing Muckkorg.
Well, it looks like we got two free barrels. Pork, can you finish off the bear? Well, no one at home is going to believe that. What happened to your friend Poin? Um, we got attacked by a, by a bear and he died, but you killed it? Yeah, yeah, I actually, I just hit it with a gun. Wait. <laughs> you didn't even kill it by shooting it? No. They're going to think he murdered him. Wait, why am I your rival? I don't even know. I don't know you, Pork. <laughs> He's my rival. <laughs> I pistol whipped the bear to death. Sure you did. Sure you did. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. For the ending of the stream of the day, how did the last few hours of the Warhammer stream go? Take over the world yet? Uh, that one's a slower campaign because we have a lot more going on. So we're on like turn 30, but it's going pretty well. We finished off Marathi, and so we're at this turning point. We just got to tier three units. We're about to start heading down into Lustria. Uh, all, all of Lustria. We have no idea how things are down there, if it's going to be really bad for us or not. And then surprisingly over in the cafe part of it, I got um, I got two crappy armies from a confederation and I was like, man, I don't want these armies. I, I don't want to spend money on this. I guess I'll just send them off to fight some stuff and they're going to die and that's all right. Whatever. I don't care about them too much. And then they were winning. <laughs> so we actually now have like two or three full regions in Cathay. So yeah, it's going fine. We're, we're going to continue that later this week. I might actually do an extra stream on Monday this week. And that, if I do, that's probably what I'll play. Bard of Blarney, 61 months. Still stuck with you. <laughs> Long time, man. Long time. You know what else is a lot? That's a lot of Scythers. 66 Scythers. A very long time. Uh, yeah, Greenskin will be after Cathay. Uh, I think I'm going to play as Wurzag. I haven't played over in the Badlands in a long time, and I've never used him. I've never used Savage Orcs. I've played Grimgore and Scarstick quite a bit, so it was I kind of was thinking about going Scarstick, but I've played him so many times. You can put multiple death rest coffins in the same room. Yep, as many as you want. Yep. Almost a whole calendar year. Very close, very close. Then after green skin is high elves. No idea who I'm going to play as high elves. Maybe Eltharian? I've never played him. He's got a harder start than most of them. And I know he has some weird mechanic where he puts people in jail. <laughs> so I'm no, I've not, I never even looked at it, so... Yeah, thank you. One of the corners, I think, right? Not all of them were, but some of them. Just literally puts people in jail. I don't need everyone down here. I think I'm just going to bring... Jimbo, EQ. Muffin and Skulls. Yeah, and maybe a shooter or two. Altharian money. I've never used him yet. I don't know. I, I don't really use cheese in my runs anyway. I, I I know there's like some exploits and stuff you can use, but what was, out of curiosity, what was the cheese for him? It's probably my coolest base yet. <laughs> oh, you just thought you needed separate rooms? Nope. Nope. You can, uh, you can just shovel them wherever. Wherever you got the space. Stay back there. Mm. 
Hmm. Might need a way to shut this off. Because if we're not manning both sides... Ah, oh, crap. Um... Yeah, maybe. They're going to come in there and destroy those lights and that fire foam, which isn't a huge deal, but... I think a door there can screw some other things up. Maybe they'll just all come this way. Whoa, hey, Muffin Girl, you got to catch that. What's wrong with you? What's going on here? Can't be letting that by. looks fun money from cashier legendary lords there was a way to feed that money back to the faction get exponentially growing money uh i gotcha yeah i don't know if that was uh that was changed yeah we gotta do we're not gonna use both sides we'll probably have to do something about this yeah i've never played high elves all that too much i think um elith and R probably is as a faction is probably incredibly strong um Back when High Elves were new, I did a couple of Tyrion campaigns. Well, Tyrion seems like he might be the more interesting one. Him or Imric. Definitely don't want to play as a Lariel and listen to the Ever Queen voice line over and over. <laughs> How's one milk? That's right. Start playing Dark Tide. Friends start telling you all about orcs. It's like, yes, yes. More yes. You love them. Uh, the orcs from 40k are similar to the ones from fantasy, but there's definitely some differences. Any faction that has ambush attack is going to be incredibly strong. So, Alethanar having that for his faction is. It's crazy, and but yeah, I'm not sure. Probably want to do a harder campaign than that. Single file, single file. Mind your manners. How's it going, Kane? Yeah, I think. Guess that means you've watched some videos. I appreciate it. Paid psychic suppressor. Uh, no. In fact, we don't need any more honor, so let's turn that off. It's not a mod, by the way. You can turn your uh, quest rewards as far as honor and, and rep on or off whenever you want to. Starvation. Hey, Nico. What are you doing? I saw you trying to eat bug meat that you like. Why aren't you eating paste? Alright, Nico. I'm done with this. I know you're on the right one here. You didn't specifically tell me I couldn't eat raw bug meat. It's it's so crazy that him eating raw bug meat would make him too happy. So, uh, off with the raw food. Yeah. All right. It's either paste or corpses for you, Nico. Nothing else. Hey, what do we get from you? We got another awful social. Hmm. Seems like Imric might have a kind of rough start now with, with chaos doors over there. I'm not sure. Oh my god, I only split this uh, recording once this time. I'm sorry, if you, editor. When you eventually watch this, you're like, wait a minute. You're giving me all these two-hour files, and then suddenly you got this one? I'm sorry. Throw beds in one room and they won't complain. That I'm not sure. Can you have a royal barracks? Yeah, I'm not sure. But you can share throne rooms. Yep. How many thrones do you want? But can you have a royal barracks? I don't think so. I think they specifically need a royal bedroom. I've never tried it, honestly. I'd be surprised, though. Hmm. 
Wow, that one's connecting all the way up there. Nice. You get jeans from infants. I don't know. I don't think I've checked if you can rip. You can definitely get them from three-year-olds, but I don't know about newborns. I have phones too. I use, uh, they're on, I have uh, a website with an equipment page. If you want to go to my website, um, adamverseverything.com, and there's an equipment button at the top, or you can just go to adamverseverything.com slash equipment. But I really like these headphones, but unfortunately, you can't buy these ones anymore. They discontinued these, and they made a new better one, and I tried those ones, and I really don't like them as much. So I've really thought about going on eBay and if I can find any like open box ones of these, just stockpiling them in my closet. Because these have been my favorite headphones used on the PC ever. But uh, yeah, for some reason they've made new improved version, which I don't like as much. But yeah, it, still though, if you want to see what they are, you can go to the equipment page on my website. I would normally say the bot command, but the bot is down at the moment, so... Yeah, so no no royal barracks yet. Okay. That's what I figured. Sad bot noises. Bots you fat crew. Settle. Oh, yeah, the alarm. Yeah, yeah, for the split. Yeah, should do that. Timer or something. Yeah, I guess we just won't worry about dead calm. I'm not, I don't know that I want to go back out and look for it. We got two shotgun tunnels that aren't shotgun tunnels, but two tunnels done. Got plenty of barrels. We got mortars. We got drop pod stuff. Oh, uh, we got lots of blood. Could like fill us out on bionics and stuff, but I think I think we're pretty good. Uh, I think there's yeah, there's a link. Thank you, Germ. Germ's the bot now. We also have 14 lungs. Everyone needs it. Oh, you just dev mode it in. <laughs> How many genes do we have? I think we started looking for it about here. So we've gotten I don't know, like 15 genes without getting it. Fat crew, 19 months. Hey, too fat crew. I'm getting up there, you and I. Yeah. Why are you starving? Just literally go eat food. Oh, wait, I didn't block this one. I meant to block this one off, too. That way we don't have to worry about that door getting held open. We have a bunch of corpses there. That'll do, that'll do. Uh, Raynor needs death rest. And who else does I see? Dat name. Both of our crafters. Best crafters, anyway. All right. Uh, so I need to go pick up my daughter. I probably should have a little bit ago. Uh, friend's house. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll finish this run up tomorrow, I guess. We will do both the count and the countess ceremonies in the morning. And then after that, we'll just make sure things are in order. And we'll do the royalty ending. So if you want to see us go against the royal ending, I think it's 13 days of 1.4x raids, if I remember right. That will be tomorrow. Rocket launchers. Are you guys attacking immediately? Looks like it. I do this raid first, though, apparently. Oh, no, they are preparing. Crap. I think months is pretty serious. It is. I'm trying to be expecting a ring. Raid right before I pick up my daughter. Yep. 
So it's not like a specific time so she has to be picked up, so. We'll do this. They're run with super soldiers, but unfortunately they're unable to breed together. What do you mean they're unable to breed together? Like their children aren't coming out with the genes that you want or like they literally won't sleep together. Are they sterile? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'd have to look and see exactly what all is going on. Got your follow-up joke. <laughs> How to keep the right side from fi friendly firing the side. It's you can't really. That's why you want shield belts. Why don't you have your shield belt on? Where's your shield belt, young man? Oops. Yeah, generally these are going to shoot here and these are going to shoot here and the thing is, you generally, other than centipedes, will kill stuff here in, th in this area before they get to any of the melee blockers, so it usually isn't a problem. But having shield belts on these just in case can be important. Gene line is too high. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you mean. Um, when you make your custom genes, like at the start of the game, you can choose whether they're heritable or not, but that's outside of mods. I think that's the only thing you can really, really do about, about it. And these guys are all hopped up on go juice. Let's handle about any raid, yeah. Pretty much. Crap, 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 crap. There we go. Oh, I was looking at chat and I looked back over and someone was aiming a triple rocket. <laughs> I needed to aim at that guy specifically. That could have been bad. <laughs> Alright, it's fine though. Don't worry about it. We're good. It's like slow motion. Are they too old to make children? If they're not sterile. So are, are the pawns actually sleeping together? So one thing you can do is see if you can harvest an ovum. Does it tell you why you can't harvest an ovum from them? Because yeah, I've, I've never had any of that happen, so I'm not sure what's going on. I'd have to see. You can always try to save the... Oh, I don't know. Do you have a lot of mods by chance? Let's say you can always uh, share the save file on the Discord and we can take a look, but... Oh, it was Cassandra's fault. Why weren't you here? Ah, she's... She actually needs to come home and do a school project, so she's probably completely fine with me being being late getting her from her friend's house i'm certain i'm certain of it actually yeah that might be your best bet um if you want to post the save file in our discord or something but if you have a lot of mods we might be, not be able to load it all right all right so that raid is the end of today Like I said, we'll continue this tomorrow. It should be the end of this tomorrow one way or the other. Hopefully, unless we have another dwarf incident. We'll see. Uh, oh, that's true too. Do they, well, I mean, they're saying that they're not actually breeding, right? They won't make babies. It says germline metabolism is too high or something. Yeah, I've never seen that. Is that... That might be... Something from my, yeah, I've never seen that. I don't, and we've had some crazy genes in our in our game, so I don't know. That might be some kind of mod interaction, but um, yeah, I don't know. Not sure. All right. Oh, let me stop the recording. That's the end for me. We'll be back to this tomorrow. Uh, tonight apparently is daylight savings time. Bullcrap. So I'm gonna lose an hour of sleep tonight, so I might be an hour later tomorrow because 
I just might. <laughs> I'll let you guys go. You think that is an alien? Yeah, I've never seen it. That's that's interesting. So if you have genes that when combined would be what above the 225% hunger, it just won't let you do it, maybe. Yeah, so uh, you might you might have to get a mod that allows you to do it. I'm not sure. Crazy. I've never ran into that. How many genes do you need to make it hit that? I have no idea. Um, anyway, I'll be on tomorrow. I'll let you guys know on the YouTube stream schedule and then also in the Discord at the exact time. So um, thank you again, as always. Very much appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day, night, whatever it is where you are. I will see you tomorrow.